homecoming night and looking forward to seeing if the Vikings can build off of a tremendous victory they had last week. What an exciting game it was last night, uh, last week here at Leonard Stadium when I was doing the game with my Nolan Potts from Loco Sports. And here's the kickoff, Rods, a short kick. Yeah, it's going to be fielded at the 30. I don't know who that was over there. Looks like it was number 50, 34 for the Vikes. All right. We Will, Dane. Will Dane. Will Dane had a huge game last week. It was virtually the Will Dane show, Rod. I know you were covering the Briar Woods game, right? Yes, I was at Briar Woods, and that was an exciting matchup. Oh, that but was a good game. You had an yeah. OT. Yeah, that was Will crazy. Will Dane uh, had an 87-yard touchdown run here last week, along with about another 120 yards of rushing himself. He had a huge game for the Vikings. First thing I noticed right off the bat is Trevor McClellan starting a quarterback, and he had a big second half last week for the Vikings. He's going to go shotgun. He's going to keep it himself. He's going to run right up the gut, and he'll pound it over the middle. He'll pick up about five yards, and it will set up second and five. Maybe four. We'll give him four. We'll give him four yards. He got to 37. I think it's going to be second and five. One, two, three. I've, I've counted it. I'm going to give him five yards there. Yeah. At least. As the Vikings have Shane Washko wide right, they're going to have, looks like, in the backfield with McClellan. Yep, oh, got a whistle already. Is the blocking back. Got a whistle. They got Cam Miller back there, along with number five, Andrew Cork. We understand that Stephen Calavocas is not dressed tonight. Rod is uh, suffering from a cracked or broken rib, I believe. Yeah, that was uh, it's kind of disappointing. He's been one of their big receivers all season, so they're really going to miss him tonight. Hopefully it's a fairly quick recovery. Ribs are, ribs are funny things sometimes there. Here we go as Evan Davis is in motion. He's going to come over to the right side of the field where Washko is. He'll line up behind Washko, and McClellan looks over the defense on second and five. He's going to hand it off to Corkery right up the gut again. Corkery is going to pound it across the 35, maybe just short of the 36. After the penalty, it'll set up a third and five. Third and five. Underway here at Leonard Stadium. Loud yes. Valley High School homecoming yeah. for the Vikes. It is homecoming. It's kind of the first test for them here. We go third down, third and five against a really good team. We'd really love to see them uh, get the first down and kind of keep the drive going. And Keep Broad Run's dangerous offense off the field. McClellan is going to look left. He's going to throw it left over the oh, head of a high. tender receiver, Evan Davis. And just like that, the Vikes are going to go up three and out. And what you're saying they did not want to do, they're going to have to kick it away to that vaunted Broad Run offense. Yeah, it's too bad because he was actually open and just the pass was a little too high. Kind of maybe starter jitters, jitters for McClellan as, yeah, Bill needs his roster. <laughs> Looks like 89 is Henry McClellan, not McClellan. Henry McClellan will be punting it away for the Vikings. Yeah, what would you find out about uh, the normal Juggles part? Juggles the punt, Ooh. but he gets it off. And it's going to be taken by number 11, which is Romelio Minor. And Romelio Minor goes out of bounds at about the 35. 42. 42-yard line. I don't see where it's marked. The 40, I'm sorry, the 42. 42-yard line. 42-yard line. A 12-yard return. For, uh, sorry, I don't have the names. Yeah, don't worry about that. I don't have the names on the... Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to teach Bill how to do this, too, but uh, he's, ah, about it's that. too much right now. No, we'll, we'll get it going in a second. No, one if you're listening. <laughs> where are you, buddy? It's always a lot. All right, here we go. So, broad run will go shotgun. Their quarterback is uh, Mitchell Griffiths. He's going to look left. He's going to throw Ooh, it in the flat. Screen. Complete screen pass. Number 39 bounces off one tackle. Screen. Still on his feet. And he'll go out of bounds at about the 46. Number 39 for a broad run is Jake Busser. Number 39, Jake Busser with the you get a lot of work for about four yards there. <laughs> Little screen. Did, it wasn't, there weren't a lot of blockers out front. But Jake sort of bounced off a couple and got four out of it. He'll go no huddle here with wide receivers all over the field, Rod. No running backs. Griffiths has three wide receivers to a right. He has two to his left. 
as they go hurry up offense. Yeah, Valley's not known for their pass defense particularly, so uh, i got a good Griffin's quarterback. Griffin's going to look left. He's going to throw it left. He'll throw it back to Bussler again. No, that's number 11. I'm sorry. That was their return man, Romello Minor. Just looks short like of the it first. Might, it's just short of a first down. They'll go no huddle again. Minor on the reception. Yeah, and they'll apologize. line up no huddle again. I do not have the broad run players in here because they didn't have a roster online. So eventually I'll get it. Buster will go in motion. In. He'll throw it. That's backwards. Backwards pass two, but when he catches it, oh, and Buster will get bad. the first down. He'll take it across midfield into Valley territory. All the way down to the Viking 42-yard line. Yeah, that actually has to go down as a run. Strangely enough. So it looks like they're running their version of what we call the West Coast offense in the pros. A lot of short passes, trying to hit receivers on the diagonal so they can get them moving. That time, you're yeah. correct, he, he actually threw it backwards. Yeah, that actually goes down <laughs> as a run play. <laughs> he threw it now backwards. he's going to throw it deep over the middle once again. Got him. Oh. oh, bounced right off his chest. He hits Miner right in the face, I believe. <laughs> I think it's between the one and the one, and he hit that. And the receiver let it get in past his hands to his pads, and that's usually when it bounces off, which is well, what you just in saw. Miner's, in Miner's defense, that ball had some mustard on it. <laughs> yes, it did. This kid has an arm. Yeah. What you say yeah. earlier? He's a D1. I, he's a D1 prospect. I don't know if he's committed anywhere. Probably not quite yet, since football is a this fall time he sport, has a huge yeah. running back. Bennett Millar behind him. He's in shotgun. Flags fly everywhere. That time, 26 was in motion. That's Jonathan Horton. Another false start. We'll back them up five yards. That running back behind him, number one there, Bennett Millar. It's a big boy they got back there in the backfield. Yeah, they got some size. And like I said, like we said at the top of the broadcast, this is a, basically a 5A team coming down. He's about the size of Kevin Millar, the uh, vaunted Red Sox from the days of their World Series looks, victories. Looks like, some, looks like, <laughs> oh, shoot, what I do? Oh, they're going to flip it back now. They just go 5-5 five, five yeah, against five against run. <laughs> then they bounce it off with an encroachment penalty. So it's back at the 42 once again. <laughs> Here we are all back second and 10 again at the 42 after the incomplete pass by Griffiths. That is Horton in motion. They'll give it to the big man. Oh, man. Number nice one, hole. Bennett Millar, still on his feet all the way what down to hole. the 28-yard line. You brought him down. And I think that's Blizzard, I believe. 31, yeah. Austin Blizzard with a nice open field tackle. It's a first down run from Millar. And now Millar will line up as a wide receiver. He'll go slot right, and they'll go wide open spread offense again. At the Griffiths, 29. three wide receivers to his right, two to his left. Once again, no huddle for broad run. Griffiths is going to look right, throws it over the middle, little Bounce. alligator yeah. arm there by Bennett Millar. It looked like it was pinball in there. Several people had got a piece of that ball. Griffiths threw it where Millar would have been had he kept running. I think he saw a big linebacker getting ready to pop him. I think that was number 40, Trent Weller, who was ready to lay the wood to him, and he shortened up and yeah. didn't go after that one. Yeah, Trent likes to lay the wood, so <laughs> I don't blame him for that one. I wouldn't want to get in Trent's way. Now to bring up a second and 10 at the incomplete pass. This time it's Millar in motion. They'll fake it to Millar and pitch it to number 39, Buster. Nowhere oh, to go. Brought him Cam down. Cam Miller finishes him off on the bottom of that tackle. I can't, let's see. He actually lost a couple on that. The ball came out late. Looked like Hunter Robinson, 45, in on the tackle. Came up with the loose ball. All right, you hear the third down bell, third and 12. I this like is, it, I like this, it. This is a big one. Early on in the game, big play here. Leonard Stadium, the jungle fired up. They got a pink out going on over there, Rod. Yeah, so thus far he's been throwing really quickly. Let's see if he takes a little more time. Griffiths back, throws it deep down oh, the left side. Quick. Number 11 is out there. He falls, Incomplete. there's a little contact. Nah, no no flag. flag. I like that call. Yeah, should definitely not be a flag on that. No. Nope. If anything, I would have given it on Miner for pushing off. Yeah. Who's on the coverage back there right here with the pink right leg? Uh, I think that's, yeah, that's sick. That's Stokes. 
Antoine Stokes. Antoine, Antoine Stokes. Stokes on the coverage. Antoine Stokes. Yeah, they like to. I mean, look at the size difference go out for there. It. Fourth and ten. Yeah, it's kind of it's too far to kick and. Uh, He'll drop back. Too close He'll throw, to punt. Oh, pump picks Whoop. it. Flag is down. Cooper right. is Hopefully that's going to be a hold. Pass is complete. That's a blinding fast receiver there. Uh, He'll take it into the end zone, but flags flag are down. Is. I think it's going to be holding, like you said, Rod. Yeah, let's let's hope so. Yep, there it is, holding. The pass was complete to Isaiah Lamond, who you could tell by that guy he has a lot of speed. Yeah, he did have a lot of speed. I mean, <laughs> oh he kind of walked God. into the kind of walked into the end zone once he caught it. Thankfully, so it's coming they back. They got a, a stud quarterback, and by the looks of these wide receivers, they're all big, fast, and athletic. Outside yeah. of that, they're not too good. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow! All right, so now we got fourth and fourth and fourth and I forever. I, can, I went to 45. University of Maryland, Rod. I don't know if I can count this out. What is it? Fourth and what? Twenty-seven. 10, Fifteen. Twenty. Fourth and twenty-six is what the public address announcer Tracy says. We'll yep. call it fourth and a country right. mile. Yep. This is definitely a the down and distance. Eleven is to our left. left. And Mike's that's Miner. Four. He'll look at Miner. No pressure. And he's going to, oh, Mason Raymer almost getting, throws it into the end zone. Oh, wow. He was Mason open. Mason Raymer putting the pressure on Griffiths. He does deliver a blow. Griffiths saw big number 58 on his tail. He unloaded. I'll tell you what, the pass was, was not that bad. No, it wasn't. The guy was open. That was, that was a little frightening. <laughs> he was open. You know, it wasn't one of his more uh, well-thrown spirals. No. But target-wise, uh, yeah. it wasn't bad. Yeah, and he had, he had two players down there in the area that could have caught it. He just didn't. All right, so hey, listen, a they could hit it's it. a huge defensive series, helped out by the holding penalty, of course. But senior quarterback Trevor McClellan comes back onto the field, and he has a chance to put the Vikings out in front here. Yeah, you got you got to love that, coming out and getting a stop on your first series. I mean, like we said at the beginning, this is a, this is a high-powered offensive team. So. All right, he's going to hand it off. I don't know if that's Dane or Corkery. I can't see. Look like Dane. I think it was Will Dane. Yeah, got about a yep. yard. That was Dane. Nowhere to go. He may have squeezed out a half a yard. Yeah, McClellan we'll give him one. Over. We'll be generous. Give him one. Give him one. <laughs> All right. Second and nine now for the Vikes. McClellan will go back out there. I'm looking at this defense here. I don't know if it's because they're wearing white rod, but they look the same as the offense. They look big <laughs> and tall. <laughs> Well, they have the same jerseys, so yeah, it makes them look similar. <laughs> they look the like they've got some size yeah, on them. You don't get a lot this of facial recognition. This outside linebacker here, number five, looks gigantic. <laughs> yeah, Dane on the carry right. over left guard. Not a lot of running room there. Yeah, thus far the Spartans are definitely controlling the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball. I mean, yep. it's early, but Number saw. seven, Evan Davis will check in along with number 21, Blake Moore, Blake Moore, last week, Rod, you weren't here. Blake Moore, I believe, is only a sophomore. Yeah, he's a sophomore. He's got some wheels. He had a couple of huge gains, uh, giving it to him on a sweep handoff, getting him the ball any way they could, short passing. He's yeah. got some speed, like you said. He's an offensive weapon, number 21, Blake Moore. Yeah, he is. And uh, the way this is shaping up so far, we're going to need to oh. – oh, man. Nowhere, Nowhere to go. To that go. big man I was talking about, number five. He, yeah. he blitzed and no one blocked him. That's, yeah, that's Keyshawn Dyson. Keyshawn Dyson listed as a wide receiver and an outside linebacker. Yeah, it looks was, like he's uh, about 6'5", 220. <laughs> 220. He, he came I, on the blitz. 220 in high school McClellan linebacker. had no might chance. Be. Yeah, that was about a 10-yard loss. Eesh. Now 89, Henry McClellan will be back to punt of the way for the Vikings. 17, Matt Hessler is going to be that wide right here to cover. Corkery is going to come in. We got, we're short about two players. No one. Oh, All geez. right. We're going to we take a timeout. They are yeah, going, take a going to take a time. A little personnel All right. problem. All right, Rod. All right. Let's see. Well, got something. I'm going to throw some sponsors at you. Yeah, you do some sponsors. I'll we'll throw up some blurbs while you talk. All right. We've got a timeout here. No score. So all this action, as you know, statstream.biz. You can watch these games at your leisure. They're not possible without all of our sponsors. So a special thank you to Gold Athletics, goldathletics.net. They'll come and fundraise for any high school in Loudoun County. They raise the bar so you can raise the money for your local high schools. Velocity Wings, downtown Percival, they're showing the game tonight. 
along with the Percival Pub. Known for a cozy atmosphere, you can also watch all the games at sure the Percival Pub. All right, now we're back to the action here. You'll see there's Velocity Wings. Logos will be coming across your screen all throughout the broadcast as Ride Ogren is back. Thank God he can handle all the technology, and all i got to <laughs> do is blabber. It's the way we like it, Bill. Oh. You talk. Oh, comes got in blocked. On, number 11 comes in unblocked. Oh, no. Once again, oh, no. that is, that is not Romello Minor. He was on the punt. He returned the kickoff. He's been in a wide receiver. That time he came in and no one picked him up. Yep, no one picked him up. And I think they probably noticed on the first one it took a little while to get the punt off. This is our backup punter. We gave him a little too much time and easy play. Minor, actually, I don't know if you have the replay of that, Rod. Yeah, I do. But he actually, he actually slowed up because he couldn't believe he was where he was. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have – he was worried about running past the punter. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, this is too easy. Yeah. How could I be right here? How, how am I here? Yeah. How could I be right here? <laughs> here, we'll show you that replay momentarily here. No one laid a hand on him. He just waltzed into the backfield and had to wait to block the punt. The kick is up and good by number 43. Okay, here comes your replay. Which is Isaac Latimer. Here's the replay. All right, he's out here, I think. Uh, he's, he's, he's on the bottom left. Yeah. He's going to cut. No, he wasn't. Know, he, he, he came on the right Wait, side. I'm back. sorry. Okay, came from the right he side. He came from the right back. side. He's standing up on the uh, right here, side. Yep. Your finger won't help. Here, okay. let me do this. Oh, where's my mouse? Oh, there it is. There he is, over here. Yeah. In the middle. No one blocks him. Oh, gee, that was easy. Like, he didn't even try. He just no. kind of ran into it. He didn't even know it. Didn't have to lay out. He just stood there <laughs> no. and put his right hand up and blocked it. And yeah, then he nonchalantly picked it up. A little too easy on that one. Oh, well. That's all right. You know, so you see in college all, a lot of times that funny formation when people protect the punter where yeah. they put the three guys in the yes. middle of the field, yes. the little wedge. Yeah, my son's college team does yeah. that. And it always looks like it's going to get blocked because all these guys come get them free, the but minute. they get them at the end. At exactly. the end because they get a little more time to see who's available. Exactly. It's kind of a neat play. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it works. All right, did I get their score? No, I got Lion Valley score. Shoot. Oh, I know what happened. All right, All right so with 4.28 to go, Hang on, the broad run. run jumps out with a special teams touchdown. Um, Vikings took a timeout there. Look a little bit personnel. They were a little bit out of sync. You thought after a timeout they would at least be able to get the punt away, but they couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it was, I mean, there are two guys on that side, and only one got to block them. So that's number seven, Evan Davis. They'll take it across 30. the 35 out to the 38-yard line. Flag is on the field. The thing I like here, Rod, is that I now, I think, after doing all these games, I got to know some of these numbers. Yeah, that's, that definitely helps. What and I noticed is my, block. my computer with the stats hasn't changed, though. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> hey, come on. You. So, <laughs> penalty Have on that play. Have you ever heard that saying that if you want to do something well, you got to just concentrate on one thing? You don't want to spread yourself too thin yes. too many directions. Yes, you know what I mean? well, and I, I know. I, I, I have that habit. I spread myself way too thin up here. We went up with a negative 28. But we look professional up here. We got a monitor. We, we got two computers. My we computer do. is completely worthless because nothing is happening on it. <laughs> well, but, but it, it looks all good. There's kinds of stuff going on. It looks good. You got video, stats, microphones, sponsors, replays. All right, here's McClellan. He'll go shotgun. He'll look to his left. He's got time. He's got time to throw. He'll throw it He's deep. got, uh, yeah, a little mix up there on the uh, pattern. <laughs> yep. He threw deep. The receiver went short. McClellan found himself with time to throw the ball. He's probably like, what is going on? And, uh, you know, he had time to throw the ball, but I think he only had one man in a, in a pattern. Yeah, he did, and that man ran the other yeah. pattern that wasn't – who was, was that? Was that Washco? That was uh, Evan Davis. Seven, okay. There were no receivers to his right. One receiver. Now Davis will go left. Now he's got two receivers to his right. He's got Washco along with – that looks like uh, – there's Jack Couture. The pass to complete to Couture. Quickly and he'll be up. slung down right away by number 13, Cameron Chambers. Couture will come off the field after the short reception. We'll set up third and five. Will Dane checks back in for the Vikes. And Trevor McClellan will come back in as well as the quarterback. We haven't seen 
We haven't seen the snake yet, the slinging left-hander. No, Caleb we Smith. haven't. Last week they were kind of going it. in and out. Yeah. Well, Cleland finished strong, I will say that, last week. That's good. Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen Caleb in a couple of games, but I know he was struggling with his control, like a, kind of like a pitcher. <laughs> Just didn't seem to be hitting his targets for the last this time This time McClellan will keep it himself. Nowhere Jeez. to go. Yeah. Third down and five. He might get back to the line of scrimmage, if anything. And once again, the Vikings will line up to punt it away. Let's hope they can get it off this time. Yeah, let's hope so. Don't need another one of those. Yeah, I think the, the Vikings are trying a new wrinkle here, a little bit of RPOs, quarterback options. Uh, broad run so far has not been fooled at all, as the Vikings have yet to make a first down. Well, McClellan and did have a lot of success running the ball out of the quarterback position last week, along with Will Dane, but they have not been able to establish anything on the ground tonight. No, nor through the air. I'll put some, put some stats up in a minute, but oh, oh no. He drops the punt again, but he gets it off. Oh, it takes a good valley, but oh, wow. nice valley bump, bounce. Bump, doop, 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 doop. <laughs> it's a bloop, 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 it's a bloop, bounce. Bloop, 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 bloop. Uh, all right, down to the 25. It'll be down by Evan Davis down there. I don't know how he got that one off. I think Broad Runner wasn't really rushing him. <laughs> I don't know why. After the last one, Jeez. I would have been bringing the heat again. I mean, yep. He's three punts. He's mishandled two and uh, got blocked on the other one. That's so, correct. Yeah, that's yeah. not a not little a good nerves recipe. there. I think for 89, he knows he's playing against a powerhouse team, and he yeah. might be feeling a little bit of the pressure. All right. So the Vikings defense held. Ben but didn't break the first go around, and then unfortunately gave up the special teams touchdown. All right. Here's Griffiths again. He's going to fake it and hand yeah, it off. Boy, look at that's that. That's the room. big Millar. Millar wow. to the 40. Millar wow. to the 45. And in t instead <laughs> of taking a hit, he'll run out of bounds. Number I mean, two, Sage and Kim was there to force him out of bounds. I mean, he went 19 yards and no one touched no him. No one touched him. And there was a huge hole on that side. You know what? He could have got a little more, but he went out of bounds. Yeah. Well, yeah. He's... All right. No huddle again for the Spartans. This time, Millar will be back there. Griffiths has two wide outs to his right. He'll look to his right. He'll roll to his right. He's, he's got pressure there. by. He finally he's got pressure. There sacked. we go. Big number 71. Coop All the right. I don't know who Super Cooper. did more damage there to the quarterback or Coop to himself. <laughs> he banged himself in the head about 10 <laughs> times after he made the sack. He was excited. That's why they wear helmets. They can bang themselves in the head. And it doesn't uh, hurt. I love his energy. I love his energy. Yeah, that's that's what, uh, you know, the first time the kids get a helmet when they're, you know, oh, seven yeah. or eight. All they want to do is bang and, their uh, head on them. Cooper Tunnell made the play of the game last week. When the game was in the balance, he had a sack for a safety, which turned the game around, Rod. Yeah, that sounded like the kind of the, the clincher there. That was. He had a safety, and then right after that, we got the ball, and we punched it in, and it never looked back. Keeper. Oh, he fell. Slipped in the backfield. Got that nowhere. time, he ties the quarterback draw. Kachera will come off. Mason Raymer will come on. We'll give the tackle there to Cam Miller, number 90. So now the big front line of the Vikings. They got Tennell, 71, on the left end. They got Mason Raymer over the nose. And they got number 90, Cam Miller, over right end. Okay, another third and long here, Bill. See if we can get a little bit of pressure on and him. And Weller's going to blitz. Trent, well, there's Cooper again. There you go. Oh. Tennell's, and Cooper's going to finish it Got him, him. Nice play. Cam Miller was in there. Mason Raymer and 71. All three of them got a, it's a combined sack. I'm going to give them all a third. All right. So you got Tennell and Miller and who else? Raymer. I think they all got a piece of them. <laughs> that number's Raymer. 68? No. Raymer's 58. 58. Thank you. All the way back at the, what are they at the? 30? Wow. They are at the 30, and they will force. Be careful now. Make sure he punts the ball here. I don't think they'd fake it looking at fourth and 30, but. No, I don't think so. They may be letting the quarter run out. No, they're going to snap it. Cooper Tunnell in there again. Let's see. It's going to. Backwards bounce. Yeah, it's just going to be touched down at the 40-yard 40 40. line. And that's going to do it for our first quarter. That'll be the last play of the first quarter. And the Vikings, you know what? you got to give them credit. They turned the ball over on a blocked punt. Other than that. Defensively, they played pretty well. Yeah, they did. All right, we'll be right back. We're going to run a quick ad here, I think, or not. And we won't run a quick ad. Where's Lydia's ad? Oh, I called it the wrong thing. 
Look at these stats on go. the bottom of the screen here. There's Voice Sports. Oh, there we go. There's Wayne, yeah. the Voice Matthews. All right. What am I getting texted and about? Let me get the kick down at the negative 40. Who's, who's texting you? Oh, jeez. All right, hang on. At the 40. All right, let me look on here. It seems like it. Uh, hang on. Look on your, go to the website. All right, we're back online. All right, so, yeah. You just mute yourself and I'll talk a little bit. Oh, you mute. Okay, so Bill's going on mute. We've got a... Technical problem. Our, our one-man band up here is, uh, had someone saying they couldn't see the live stream, so Bill was quickly working with them to try to get that straightened out. As the Vikes will go first and ten, punch it up the middle. Couldn't see who that, uh, that was Dane on the carry. Looks like he got about three or four yards, three yards out to the 43. So a positive gain at least for the for the Vikes. All right, I'm back. All right. That was our man, Sean LaFollette. But you know what? I think it could be user error on his Internet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> if he's <laughs> he's going to reset his Internet. <laughs> okay. If he's the only one having it, because usually I'll get a bunch of texts if yeah. we have issues. I think his Internet might be out there. All right, so, so short gain by, that was Dane, you said, right? That was Dane, yeah. It'll be second and seven. Short gain by Dane. McClellan, he'll give it to Corkery. Oh, Corkery, run nowhere to go. Yeah. As number 55 is in the backfield. That's Robbie Lalayan. He's in the backfield right as Corkery's taking the handoff. Yeah, so we'll I'll call it third and six. We'll give you some first quarter stats here, scrolling across the bottom in a minute. Now, they're not, since I don't have names for broader and they won't be as accurate, but it'll be, be something here. I don't know what that is. What's that? All right, third it. and six for the Vikings. They got the blocking back number 90, Cam Miller. Oh, McClellan has Wasco to his left, and he's going to give it to Dane, and Dane tries to cut loose, but he uh, can't get out of the grasp. Number 13 brings him down. That's Cameron Chambers. He almost wriggled free. They might go for it here. They will, in fact, go for it. They haven't had All much right. luck with the other oh, note. They're going to punt it. My no, bad. They're going to punt it. Yeah. But, you know, like you said, they haven't had a lot of luck with punting. So no, no. Hopefully they can get a clean snap here. All right. Here's McClellan. Let's see if he can just feel this cleanly and get it off. So fourth and a short three. You know, they could run the fake. Dane goes in motion. McClellan fields it cleanly, and he'll get it off. There you go. It's a good punt fielded at the 15-yard line. Number nine to his right. Nowhere Quickly to go. Down. Downfield is number 17, I believe, Matt Hessler, with a nice hustle shoestring tackle. Is that McClellan on the punt? The return was on uh, number nine, no, who Isaiah punted? Lemon. Who punted? McClellan punted okay, it. Okay, it was punted. That's what it was. And Hessler made the stop. The first man down there. Again, you and I always mention this. We like the energy that Matt Hessler brings on the defensive side of the ball. He's yes, a scrappy yes, little defender. Let's see. He's out here one-on-one -on -one now. He'll be matched up with the guy he just tackled. He'll one-on-one -on -one with Isaiah Lemond or Lamond. Probably Lamond. And then at the top of the screen, let's see. They're going to pound it inside the Millar Man, right up the gut. Just, their and line is opening up some big holes. He'll pick up around six. Be second and four. Huh? 27. Griffiths. He's got Millar with him in the backfield. He'll give it again. The same play. Nowhere to go this Stuffed time. that time. This time Jack Cotrera, number 11, wraps him up. May have picked up one yard. Nice. Ah, shoot. Hang on, I'm gonna go on Once again, no huddle for Broad Run. They haven't huddled yet in this ball game. 
Griffiths is going shotgun. Hunter Robinson is showing blitz. All right, we apologize for the technology. Understand maybe the stream is not working. We're going to get that figured out here. This is why it's important to have Rod Ogren in the booth. All right, so they'll go fourth. Is it fourth? They're going to go for it from their own 30. He'll keep it himself. He'll pick it up. Griffiths goes shotgun and runs over right tackle for four yards. First down, broad run. Gutsy call there. No huddle again, Griffiths. He's going to throw it to his right. He looks to his right. He hits LeMond. He shakes off Matt Hessler. He's still on his feet. Still on his feet, refusing to go down. And then he's finally brought down by number 45, Hunter Robinson. Okay. Real quick, I'm just right. on the wrong one. We're reboot so here. Give me a minute. We'll be right back, folks. Yeah, it's, I know what I have. Now. Nine. All right, we're back. All right, we're back live. Yeah, we're back live. Sorry about that, folks. I realized we were on the wrong. We were streaming out on the game of the week. <laughs> it should pick up now. All right, Griffiths, shotgun. Once again, no huddle. Second and five. It looks left. Ball's deflected. Oh, number 40, Trent Weller did not see that deflection. Corkery almost came in from his safety position as the ball was deflected at the line of scrimmage. I'm not sure who got his big paw on it, if that was Raymer or Tunnell. One of those boys over there got a hand on it and deflected the pass from Griffiths. You hear the bell ringing. It's third down. Yeah, I got to get the stats caught up here, so give me a minute. Third and five. Griffiths, he's got Lamont to his right. He's got Millar, who stepped a little early. It should have been a flag. He'll throw to Lamont. Hessler's on him one-on-one. -on -one. The running back started too early, but the referee did not throw a flag. Definitely moved his right foot before the ball was snapped. That was Bennett Millar, but he didn't get called for it. He gets away with it. And once again, the pass is complete to Isaiah Lamond. It'll be a first down for broad run. The ball is now down to Viking 32. Six minutes and 11 seconds to go here in the second quarter. Broad run on the defensive touchdown. Special teams, they blocked the punt. The same guy who blocked it, that was Romello Minor, picked up the blocked punt himself at about the 20-yard line, and he waltzed into the end zone. And that's been the only score of the ball game. We apologize for technical difficulties. We understand we are now up and running. Yeah, we should and be live it's, now. You know, it's people like Sean LaFollette, some of our devoted fans. <laughs> you know, they call in and text us. And, you know, I got nothing to apologize for this week, just so you know, because the guru is in the press box with me, Rod Ogren. <laughs> no, nah, that, 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 that was that was totally my fault. I just started the stream and <laughs> didn't bother to look where it was going. So where, if you went, where to, the, if going? went to the if you went to the, the where game was it going? the game of the week site. Oh. Yeah, you know, there's two links up there when yeah. I do two games. Yeah. It was going to the other link. Oh, so I we, just had to tell it we were streaming, where to go. Just not we were the streaming. stat stream. You just couldn't see it. Yeah. I don't know what your we problem were streaming, was. just not the stat stream. <laughs> exactly. I got gotcha. you. That's why the game of the week. Okay. Yeah, it looked great. All it right. was streaming just fine. All right, well, now we got everything. As we say, this is a professional operation here. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> All right, here we go. First and 10 from the 32. He'll give it to Millar. Up to gut. Cam Miller, number 90, slings him to the turf. No, I'm sorry. That was Trent Weller, number 40. Weller, number 40 on the tackle. All right, got it. We are back in beeswax, I think. Waiting for this thing to come up. Second and eight for Broad Run. Again, if you're just joining us, Broad Run, no huddle. 
Lots of wide receivers, lots of big athletic wide receivers, along with a huge athletic tailback, number one. That's Gris fake. Oh, throw uh, the deep down lays wide open. Up they open. Oh. That was actually good coverage, but I like they like that matchup. And I don't blame them. I mean, Stokes <laughs> is giving away at least six inches out there. Well, he jumped up. He may have jumped a little early. Yeah. Um, and as he's coming in. back to the turf, that gave Stokes a chance to get in there. But he was open early. A beautiful spiral thrown there by quarterback Mitchell Griffiths. That was. Now, that's, that's a couple times that uh, the receivers have not hauled in Griffiths' passes. All right, third down. The jungle's getting fired up over here. Pink out once again here at Valley. Blitz by Weller. Oh, what a bullet that, that was, was by Griffiths. The dart. That was an absolute. They're saying it's picked off. Valley saying somehow the ball was loose. It was an intercepted, fumbled. Oh, what's going on, Rod? Uh, help me out. Either. Let's find out. Which way are they going to point? Oh, nope. They're going to say it's complete. The Valley okay. defenders thought he might have dropped it. Well, he was either going to catch that ball or was going to go right through his chest. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a missile. Yeah, it was. That was, that was definitely a bullet. Look, look, that's a next-level pass right there. You see that in college. All right, here comes the big, talented wide receiver, number 11, Romello Minor. He'll go right. Hessler's going to be one-on-one -on -one with him in the slot of 39, Jake Busser. They'll give it to Millar, and oh, oh, almost Raymer had him. Raymer had him. Broke through. Raymer had him in the backfield, and he couldn't bring him down. Yeah. And Millar that, will carry it for a first down. Yeah, that would have been it if he could have got him down there. They had him stopped. He did have him stopped, but that is a huge running back. Number one, I mean, he looks like he's the same size as Raymer. <laughs> Not quite as big as Raymer, but he's a big tailback nonetheless. Yeah. They definitely have some size. This time number nine is wide right. That's Maurice Darbyshire. Again, it looked like they were off size. No call. And Millar is still on his feet. Wow, nice D. Weller again in on the tackle along with Hunter Robinson. Trent Weller very active here. So Blizzard finishes him off. Weller's the first one in on the tackle. And Hunter Robinson is there for the Vikings. Yeah, he lost a yard on that. I mean, it was great. I mean, he broke a couple tackles initially, and then three guys came him down, so got him down. The Vikes did a nice job of uh, flying to the ball on that one. So it's going to be second and 11. They'll get loss of one on the play. This is just a kind of offense, so you feel like they can get 15 yards on any given play at any time. Here comes so. Griffiths. He's going to roll right. He's going to keep it. He, now he throws it in the end zone. Oh, wide open. Oh, my God. What, what a, a catch. catch. What a catch. They're going to give him the touchdown. Wow. That was amazing. What that a was catch an that was by catch. number 39, Jake Busser. That I'm not a... sure, to be honest with you, if he had possession, but it was a hell of a catch. <laughs> <laughs> it was. That they don't was have replay this level, I know that. But no, we do. We do. We, we do. We, can look. we only have one angle, though, so we can't zoom well, in too much. Can you get, to, can you we'll, get all the way over there? We'll get it queued up. Yeah, I got it. You got all the way over there? I got play, yeah. Oh. So let me see. Well, I never would have moved that camera well. for that one. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you moved the camera during the play? Yeah, yeah. It's oh, amazing. Oh, my God. That's amazing. It is. I, I'm, I'm a trained professional. <laughs> oh, well, I'm dying <laughs> to see this. at least I'm a trained professional. All right, I here mean, we go. I'm not going to argue he didn't make the catch. I'm going to say by the time he had possession, he was out of bounds. Okay. So Griffiths rolls right. Buster, no one picks him up. He's running wide open. Oh, this is beautiful. Look, Look at, at this. this. Okay. He's got it. Oh, he's in. He's in. Uh, that is a catch. I think, wow. he, I think that was a great call. Look at it one more time. He puts his left hand up. I think I his mean, left his, I think his left his foot his is in. I think his left foot is going to be in. I mean. Yep. Touch right there. Knee down. It's a knee down. Well, that and foot's down, yep, too. Knee down, ball in. Uh, That's beautiful. That is a beautiful wow. play there by number 39, Jake Busser. That was that was. Now, he didn't need to make that, that much of a spectacular catch, but the pass <laughs> was a little bit out in front of him because he was left wide open. Yeah, he was wide open. <laughs> and, yeah, put a little bit too much on it, but uh, Busser caught up and got the catch. It looked like he almost a little bit of a post corner. I think the safety thought he was going to run the post pattern. And he just broke it off towards the corner. Griffiths rolling that way. Saw him late. And a great play, as we said many times, by number 39, Jake Buster. Yeah, now to amazing. put out 14-0 uh, broad run. 
And we must have had some sort of penalty. They're kicking off from the uh, 25 here. Well, I think they did a lot of celebrating after that catch. Yeah, maybe that was it. Yeah, there's a lot of chest bumping going on, <laughs> a lot of high-fiving, a lot of gyrating around out there. So I assume they had a little excessive celebration. Well, but it was worth celebrating, I must say. It was a nice catch. Yeah, it was a heck of a catch. And Public address have. announcer Tracy over there announcing that they need a little help in the concession stand. Do you want me to stay up here in the press box or do you want me to go out there and serve some dogs? No, I think, I think you need to stay up here. <laughs> Wouldn't mind if someone brought us a couple of dogs. All right, here's the kickoff. Back deep. Oh, Whistles are whistle. blowing all over the place. That was Hessler kicking oh. off for broad run. I apologize. Looks like it was number 43. Is that right? Yeah. So they're going to kick from the 20 now. Yeah, this is number 43. <laughs> How That's far back can you go? To kick Isaac him? Latimer kicking off for broad run. Now he's going to be kicking off from the 20-yard 20, 20 line. <laughs> we'll so back deep for Valley, 17, Matt Hessler. We talked about his speed. I'm not sure who's on this side over here. What number is this, Rod? Uh, 21. That's Blake Moore. Yeah, that'd be Blake Moore. A lot of speed sense. back there for the Vikings between Moore and Hessler. Yeah, he's kicked them both short thus far, so we'll see what we got on this one. All right, 14 nothing. Three minutes and 19 seconds to go here 14, in the first 20. half. Valley trying to hang in this one as long as they can, Rod. Yeah, they just they really need to get some offense going. I mean, we know this we knew this broader and team was going to be explosive, and they have showed that thus far. Valley's just that gotta, kid's going to go out of bounds. <laughs> Another penalty. <laughs> uh, they're going to take they're gonna it right again, there. They? No, no, they, they don't have to. Valley's well, just going to take it to 45 here, yeah. yeah. Do they have the option? Yeah, you have the option. Well, they should make him kick it again. No. Mm. No sound, he says. Yeah, they should make him kick it again. No sound. Exactly. That's what I would do. Put it back well, to the 15. Yeah. Make them kick it again. All right. They're going to do it again. <laughs> I'm not even recording the penalties yet. I'll, I'll catch them up later so we get the And they will, stats, in fact, but, take that option. But oh now, why is he still at the 20? He should be penalized. Yeah, he should go back five He's yards. He's still at the 20. It, it was at the 20 last time. I don't know why they're doing they, Yeah. They need to move him back there, right? Yeah, you got to move him back five yards. What is he doing? He's... Making hand Now gestures. the other referee is going to come in and know. say, hey, <laughs> you, know, you got to move back. <laughs> yeah, and our coaches are down here trying to tell them to move back. Well, okay, now he's going to move There, there we go. go. Okay. He's got it. <laughs> 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 okay. This is reminding me of uh, I did Dominion versus uh, Rockridge a couple weeks ago, and Dominion oh, at one you told point me about that. they had first that and sound like a nightmare. First and fifty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> One of my compatriots that night looked up. The, the NFL record was like 4th and 63, I think. <laughs> so that would be some sort of high school record. First well, word on the street, Rod, as we have reached 100 YouTube subscribers. All right. All right. That's that a milestone fantastic. for StatStream. That is. Biz. All right, here's Blake Moore uh, on the reception. Where are we at? He's at midfield. He's going to cut to his right, and he's going to go Draw down at midfield. Go 50. Number 19 for Broad Run in on the tackle is Andrew Bryson. And the Vikings will try to get something on the scoreboard, anything before halftime as they're down 14 nothing. All right. That was a lot of penalties. Oh, Look I love this. listening to that Viking horn. <laughs> what do they call that thing? It's got a name, I'm sure. I'm it's sure it does. It's some sort of horn. Yeah, it's the old Viking, uh, like, war call or something. All right, here we go, McClellan. All right, we'll come back to that. He's going to give it to Dane. Ah, sorry, folks. Just bang the camera. And Dane, again, just nowhere to go. You know, they're trying that ground game. They've had a lot of success over the last couple weeks on the ground. But yeah, it's just not working the night. They're going to have to go to the air at some point. Well, they've tried the air a little bit, too, without a lot of success. I mean, unfortunately, what I'm seeing thus far is just the classic football scenario where the the Spartans are controlling both the offensive and defensive line. 
And that just makes it tough to do anything. Now he's going to go to there. It's complete to number seven, Evan Davis. Direction. He is running in the wrong direction. He got three. He got three. Three. Three, you're right. He would have had five, but he lost two. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> it's all right. He caught the pass. That's all that matters right now. <laughs> the pass is complete, though. That's It'll right. set up third and six. Yeah, so now, I apologize. I, I do have stats. I just, it's not set up right. So you'll, well, if we have a timeout, I'll show you the overall stats, and then I'll roll them through on the uh, second half down at the bottom right of your screen. All right, so Contrera. So ask your friend if he's got sound, because Corkery's saying there's no sound. Austin Blizzard. Okay. Sorry, we're, you know, multitasking. Our, our McClellan's going to follow production the team. Uh, that was just kind of odd. Shane wasn't even running a pattern. He just sort of <laughs> go out 10 yards and stand there. <laughs> My pass is incomplete. Weird-looking pass. McClellan, who was he looking to throw to? It was Washko, but Washko, Washko. kind of like went out 15 yards and just stopped. It All right, so odd uh, pattern. Anyway, my beat reporter there, Sean LaFollette, says he has sound. Okay. So I think we're up and running. All right. Just want to make sure. As the Vikings will look to no punt sound. it away here once again with McClellan. Oh, it's a fake. It's a fake. McClellan's on. He's going to roll run, for it. Run, 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 He's going to pick it up. He got it. He's still on his feet. Nice. All the way down to the 32-yard line goes All right. senior quarterback Trevor McClellan. Beautiful play. It was an play. excellent fake by number 89, Henry McClellan, <laughs> as he gave the impression it was a bad snap over his head. Faked me out, to be honest with you. No. I, I was looking over his head for the ball, and yeah. McClellan had it, number 16, and he's was, a big runner. I was well designed and well blocked, I must say. He had a yeah. big hole to run through. He wound up with 12 Great yards play out of that. by the Vikings. First down, Vikings. This time it is a high snap. <laughs> <laughs> and McClellan keeps it again. <laughs> McClellan's still on his feet. And he'll pound it down inside the 30 to the 29. Nine. All right, four yards on that. And so we how much time we got? Down to a minute. Under we got minute, a minute okay. to go. Probably going to need to go to the air at some point, Rob. Yeah, you got two timeouts left. He'll go shotgun. So the clock on your screen is now accurate. He's got Blizzard to his left. He'll look to his right. The watch go. Pass <laughs> is incomplete, and a flag comes. A late flag comes in as Wasco took a hit. I think they're going to call pass yeah, interference. Yeah, that was – he was going for the ball, I thought. I didn't see any interference. I was more Number worried 13, that the uh, – Cameron Chambers. It was 13 on 13. Chambers covering Wasco. Long late flag. Got the flag was thrown further in the pass. Yeah, and it looked, but the <laughs> flag was also thrown towards the line. It looked like to me. Let's oh, no, see what we got. Over, Here no, comes White right Here oh, we go. Up, oh, no they flag. Waved it off. All right, waved it off. You called that one, Rod Ogren, Eagle Eye. You're well, all over that one, Rod. <laughs> I don't know if I was all over that one. I just You're didn't know what the call that. was. It didn't look like interference to me. Look at but, this. We're getting know. pictures from uh, Sean LaFall. Look at this. He's sending us pictures of the play. Awesome. He's got sound. Look at that. All right. Man. All right. McClellan's going to go deep. Wide open. Got Austin him. Blizzard. Yes. He catches the ball down with a three. With 36 seconds to go, Austin Blizzard from McClellan. Passes complete down to the three-yard line. The clock is stopped. And yeah, well, they moved the chains, and Bikes took a timeout. I think Valley will call a timeout. You got that replay, Rod? I do have that replay. Give me one second here. We'll get that up for you. I'm our, looking at our, our, my crack staff of me <laughs> and my production assistant, you, will bring right. you this replay momentarily. Well, I got a picture text to us of our broadcast. All right, here we go. Um, here you go, Bill. Here we go. Well, look at that beautiful transition. All right. McClellan drops back. He's isolating nice on pass. Blizzard. Yeah, look how just, open he is. Look at that. Five yards open. Nice catch, nice throw, nice play that by the was. Vikings. Hauls it in cleanly. It's too bad he couldn't have stayed on his feet for one more push off into the end zone. But Yeah, that's okay. Great play there for the Vikings as they look. If they can punch this in and go into halftime only down seven, yeah, that, that would be, be a huge momentum that would be swing huge. for the Vikes. <laughs> I, I won't repeat the text I just got from, from Jim Corkery. Uh -oh. 
I do have uh, I do have something to read out from him though. Well, you got you got to uh, you know, give us a little bit. Well, it's good to have this viewer. He's got in. he's got the sound. The sound is back. Oh, was well, he didn't have yeah, his uh, volume yeah, on? Yeah, the, yeah so, mute something was wrong with the volume on his end. Anyway, we'll leave it at that. The mute button was pushed. <laughs> the mute button was pushed. <laughs> I do actually. Speaking of Mr. Corker, I do want to read What's, off. Okay. So um, he Corker was nice enough to to be one of our sponsors. Uh, just kind of on his own. And he had re asked that we read this off on the air. Fire it off. We would like to thank U.S. Navy and Korean War veteran Ronnie Corkery, supporting his grandson in this broadcast as he is watching tonight from San Francisco. So that's U.S. Navy and Korean War veteran Ronnie Corkery. Ronnie, if we score, this TD's for you. Oh, that is wonderful. And you know what? Great moment, great opportunity to thank all of our veterans all over the world who make this broadcast possible, Rod. Yeah, they really do. I mean, takes takes a lot of people, even though we joke about our small crew. It does actually take and a lot of people you know, to put this I'm on. I'm getting a text from my home front from my son, Will, yes. who's running for Emmerich School president. He wants me to mention it over the, <laughs> over the air. I, I so, think you just did. I don't, I don't know if we're allowed to do political ads. Here's what Will yeah, wants the, me to say. <laughs> Don't be hesitant. <laughs> Vote Will Russell for president. <laughs> All right, McClellan's going to keep it. Oh, no He's not going to get in. He's not. Another flag is down, though. Oh, jeez. I think it's a flag. Nope, nope. All right, the clock is ticking. We're down to 24 seconds. McClellan under center is going to try again. And he might have gotten in that time. No, he doesn't nope. get in. He's down to the one-yard line. The clock is down to 14 seconds. I and they stopped the clock. Out. Timeout, timeout, Valley. It's He's down to the out. one. Their last timeout. Okay, so what's your call here, Bill? Well, you I don't know if downs. Coach Bishop was watching the New England Patriots game last night when Brady <laughs> snuck in two from the one-yard line <laughs> rather easily, but McClellan um, is not having the same success. So, so you're comparing the Vikings to the to the New England Patriots? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> They're trying to bust it up the gut. Well, you know, Brady is Brady's 42 years old, and we have a number 42, so I think well, that's about as far as the comparison <laughs> goes. <laughs> so 14 uh, well, listen, seconds. There's a timeout. Have I mentioned who's running for Emmerich president? Yeah, you did. Will we got, tell can we talk strategy a little bit here? Can we be serious? <laughs> <laughs> so with 14 seconds, as I was trying to say... <laughs> You, are you going to get two plays? 14 seconds is not a lot of time in high school. You try if to you throw it. You I, got, I think if you, you throw, throw it. it yeah. You got two plays. Yeah, I think you throw it, and I don't think you want to kick because a well. Yeah, and they, yeah, that's just a max protect. And he is not in. And they do not have a timeout. Now they're lining up quickly. They're not set. This time he's in. This and time no he's signal. In. No he's signal. There it is. Touchdown. Wow. That was a delayed signal. And uh, <laughs> zero. But I, I, I would question, well, there was no flag, right? Because they were not set. You have to be set for a second before that ball was snapped. And Bill's talking the mute button again. I've been You're on mute. You're good at talking the mute button. I don't know how long I've been on mute. <laughs> well, so Bill said <laughs> <laughs> the Vikings were definitely not set, but there was no flag. So the touchdown counts. The Vikings will now attempt the extra point, theoretically. I'm assuming it's Nick Chavon and Broad Run takes a timeout. So no no time on the clock. I have no idea what was going on. So with no time on the clock, oh. as you kind of heard in the background, uh, I think oh. the broad run coaches were not real thrilled with that. Apparently the clock stopped, and we were watching the play, not the clock. Well, there was a broad um, run uh, somebody who just ran out of here. And yeah, that was one, was one of their coaches. One they of their were, coaches. They were not happy at all the clock was not apparently happy, stopped. But you know what? But I he think, wasn't very well, professional either. No, but, well, and what can happen, as you're unpiling, the refs have to figure out where exactly the ball is. So, and I wasn't watching them to see any signals, but they could temporarily stop the clock to position the ball. Yes. That is exactly correct, and that is exactly yeah. what happened, Rod. They can stop the clock to position the ball. Yeah. And it may be a clock stop for like two seconds. And you Who can knows? see over here, yeah, yeah. the 
coach. The bottom line is this. They're going to line up to try to cut this to a one-touchdown game, and Broad Run has dominated the game, and they got to be totally upset that they're only up by seven points. Yep. I would I would say they are. that is correct. So now, let's that see. was that a very hard-earned down. Did Sorry, McClellan carry it all four times? <laughs> I think he did. It was so chaotic at the end. I'm not sure who carried that. I got the replay. We can find out. I think it was McClellan all four times, and he had to get two yards, and he got about two and maybe an inch. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and the thing is, even if the – I mean, the coach may have a point, but I don't think they're going to overturn it. The call was made. There's no replay. Well, the coach is it still is out there barking up a storm yeah. because the guy was in the boot. Look at he's on the field. Well, and the thing is, it's not it's not like it's a valley guy running the clock up here. I mean, in these games, it has to be an official yeah. running the clock. So we've got a we've got a striped official up here, just like the ones out on the field. Well, that's that is an excellent job point, Rod, as well. There's an independent official up here yep. who's not a valley alumni. I don't think <laughs> he's not wearing a valley uniform. And he's not wearing a valley hat. No, he is not. No. He's doing his and, job. I mean, what the, what I saw, and I, we'll, we'll, you know what? We'll bring the replay up. Look, they hustled, and they got an inch. They needed an inch, and they got an inch. <laughs> it's high school football. It's homecoming. There's a pink out. Let's get the show on the road yes, here. Yes, exactly. All right, let's see if we can get this here. You're undefeated. You should be winning the game. Now he's upset. You know, he's coming in here. All right, and here, let's watch barking. the replay. They can bark all they want. We'll watch the replay. All right, here's so the here, play. So this is the previous play. Oh, hang on. All right. All right, so hang on. Let's you go see back. 14 seconds on the clock. Yeah, well, that the clock doesn't matter. Okay. okay. So that was the end of the first previous play. They're setting up. They're setting up. They're setting up. Now, okay. And that may have been four There, seconds. this guy here. I'm gonna, he's not set. There's no way that 43 there was set. But they didn't call it. See, watch right here. Well, here's the extra point we're going to line up for. All right, hang on. Um, to McClellan, is that 89? Yep, it is 89. Oh, I thought it might be Chavon. All right. It's uh, Henry McClellan is going to try to bring the Vikes within seven. The That's spot nice is kick. good. The kick he is nailed it. drilled right All down right. the middle. Beautiful. And at the end of the first half, Valley grabs some momentum. I'll say. As the heavily favored broad run Spartans go in. Winning by seven, but they're not happy about it. No, they are not. They were very upset about the end of that play. So, so, and it, let, let me hear. Let's just do, do this again. one more show time. Let me play again. We'll show you this, and then we'll, uh, and then we'll go to commercial. Whoop! Not that one. Sorry, wrong Walking one. up a storm up here. Hang on. Got to look at the right replay. Oh, come on! Where are you at? There it is. All right. Okay. So what I'm say saying. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't worry about that. This he guy said, wasn't set. No, no, no. Watch, watch this guy coming out. Dane, Where's my mouse? Wrong side. Where's my mouse? Come on, mouse. Wake up. Okay. Anyway, on the right side of the line, you see there's 71 getting That's set. Tunnel. That's Tunnel. Yeah. Now watch. Somebody's coming out right there. This guy, this He's guy coming right out in between right there. Yeah. He is not set. No, he's not they, set. But they didn't throw the flag. No. So, I mean, the Broad Run yeah. coach has the right to be upset about that. But, like we said, this is high school. There is no replay. That was Sam Sturm, 43. You're right. He yeah. was not in a legal position. Yeah. No, he wasn't. Right. I mean, there should have been a flag. Now, no guarantees of the accuracy here, but you can see. All right. It seems low. Only 107 for a broad run. Well, but no, that's actually might not be. They they haven't had a huge long drive. A no. couple decent drives. Anyway, if you want to talk about those a little bit, I mean, you can kind of see. Uh, is that not moving? Well, down? let's look at the rushing average um, for Loudon Valley, 1.9. <laughs> and you know, last week alone, I want to say that Dane was probably averaging about eight or nine yards a pop. Yeah, well, a little bit different defense here, yep, broad run yep, versus big uh, difference. Uh, yeah. Big difference here, the heritage defense as opposed to the broad run defense. Yes, yes. Uh, let's see here, passing yards. The big completion late in the first half for the Vikes, where it was McClellan hitting Blizzard down to the three, and then after four rushing attempts by McClellan. 
He was finally able to punch it in um, from two yards out. He got one, then he got a half. And on the fourth try, he got he needed about a half a yard, and he got about nine inches, I guess, and he yeah. got enough. <laughs> he, got, <laughs> he needed a foot, and he got 13 inches. <laughs> it was awfully close. Oh, that's right. I have it, yeah. So I was never a math major, Rod. <laughs> He got just you enough know, for the he touchdown. He got enough. He got enough. Uh, of course, the um, the broad run um, coach was arguing and bickering for quite some time on the field. Uh, needless to say, the broad run coaching staff not too happy with the way that first half ended. But no, the, they weren't. I mean, and you know, they 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 had a justifiable complaint. I don't know about the clocks. We weren't watching the clock, but it was pretty clear in the replay that we were not set for a second. However. It's high school. There's no replay, and these guys are doing the best they can. So it is what it is. All right, and then we'll see up there Will Dane, five attempts for 10 yards. They're trying to get him going on the ground. Um, McClellan, surprisingly, eight for 15, but he's averaging only 1.9 yards a completion. That's rushing. Oh, that's rushing. Yeah, that's rushing. There's Receiving, okay. Three for seven, yeah. Where's his passing? Oh, three, of three seven for seven. Three for seven. 36 okay. yards. So he's averaging 12 yards a completion. Yeah, three for seven. All right, looks like we're about ready to kick off here. So, so the Vikings are averaging two yards per rush. Yeah, and Broad Run's averaging three. So neither team really lighting it up. Broad Run right, just Valley will kick off here. You just and feel like Broad Run's ready to explode. Kicking I mean. off this time is number 85. Is that right? I don't know. No, it's 15. My apologies. That's, That's Nick Chabon. Chabon. Yeah, he kicked the JV. Team. And there's the big boy, number nine. Is oh, he's not going to go at six. Is uh, Stokes. And he's in there also is, looks like on the bottom of that pile was Sam Sturm, 43. Got down there to kick the, cover the kick. 43 is Sam Sturm. And on the return was number nine, Isaiah Lamont. All right. So we're both, we're both talking. They can both hear us. We got some stats rolling across the bottom there for you. We'll try to keep those updated as we go along. All right, here we go. Let's see. Broad run again the entire first half. No huddle. Yeah, I'm guessing they don't huddle at all, but just a guess. <laughs> the uh, well-recognized quarterback, senior quarterback number 12, Mitch Griffiths, will hand it to the big running back, Millar. Once again on the tackle is number 40, Trent Weller. Weller had a whale of a first half, making a lot of Viking tackles. Yeah, he did. It'll actually show how many he made here when it rolls along the bottom. But my defensive stats aren't the greatest this game, but doing the best I can. <laughs> Once again, the running back is Bennett Millar, number one. He'll take it again. He'll run left guard again. Sajan Kim is there. Look at that push. Along with number, let me see who that is getting up there. Number 90, Cam Miller. And number 26, John Lohr. So Lohr well, and Miller to, uh, combined to bring him down. Big boys up front for the Vikes. Once again, 71, Cooper Tunnell, 58, Mason Raymer, and number 90, Cam Miller. Yeah, Miller is normally out, 54. It was enough yellows. for a first down? Or yeah, it was. It was enough for a first, first down. Yeah. Okay, so first and 10 for the Spartans. Miller straight now. Lore showing blitz. Weller showing blitz. Now they back out of it. Sage and Kim showing blitz. And Millar is going to keep it, and Hessler is going to miss the tackle, but Sajin Kim, number three, is going to bring him was, down. That was Kim. Yeah, once a, Millar will take it for another first down for broad run. Yeah, once again, they just got, I mean, he didn't have a lot up the middle, but as soon as he bounced out, there was nobody there. He had plenty of room to run. Yeah, and as you're just joining us, Bennett Millar, the tailback for the Spartans, is big, strong, and fast. This time they're, oh, and Bubble he just screen, drops it. it. Yep. That's Miner, Romello Miner, who's dropped a couple balls in this game. Earlier, Griffiths threw a missile right at his face and hit yeah. him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that was a well-set-up little bubble screen out there. I mean, he definitely had he had five yards before he let go of the ball. <laughs> yep, he was ready to run downfield, and he dropped it. Second and ten. We've seen a few few drops from the Spartans tonight. Well, on the blitz again. Oh, my goodness. 
Nice I would have thrown a flag as well or blitz then, and he was blatantly held, but I should be independent up here, I guess. <laughs> no, I can't. I'm home. I'm allowed to. No, you're, you're allowed to be. Looks like Trent Weller got held yeah. and outplayed to me. Anyway. <laughs> the running over left you tackle. got to see it. Picks up around six on the play. Yeah, third and three here. Three and third and a long three for broad run. The big running back once again is Bennett Millar. They'll fake it to Millar. And Griffiths will throw it right side. Number nine is Lamond. That is Isaiah Lamond. And that's going to be enough for a broad run first down. Covered by number 17, Matt Hessler. Brought down and, by and, Hessler. And Corkery was out there as well. The safety number five. Corkery, Andrew Corkery, bringing him to the turf. Once again, John Lohr showing blitz. They'll hand to Millar again. He stiff arms nice Kim. Stiff arm. And there's a nice tackle made Beautiful. by 31, Austin Who was Blizzard. That? Austin Blizzard coming up. What a tackle that was. Textbook tackle there by Blizzard. Yeah, that was beautiful. He just came flying up, went under the uh, the outstretched arm, and brought him down. Sajin Kim took a severe uh, stiff arm by Millar, and then just as Millar was going to turn the corner, Blizzard wiped him out. And now it's Corkery showing blitz. He'll come out of it as well. Trent Weller's showing everything. He's all over the place. <laughs> And it's, oh, Griffiths right by, keeps it. and there's number 12, oh, Griffiths is in the open That's field, and Blizzard, nice play. Blizzard's going to wow. bring him down with a touchdown saving tackle. The RPO worked beautifully that time. Blizzard saves another broad run touchdown, brings down Griffiths, but he's inside the 10 at the 9. It'll be first and goal for a broad run as they are, Driving right down the field with their first possession here of the second half. Yeah, that's a 36-yard run by the quarterback. He's got some speed, too. He does, and that was a nice hole. I mean, nobody touched him for a good 20 yards. This time it's Millar over right side. Flags yep. fly. Blizzard was there again. Sturm and Hunter Robinson. That's Sam Sturm. 43 and Hunter Robinson check in, which I assume is to stop the run as they'll bring off uh, Avery Nance and Sage and Kim, which excel more defending the pass. Once again, we're homecoming here, Rod. It's a pink out at Leonard Stadium, and it's homecoming here at Loudoun Valley. Yeah, we got pink everywhere. Cheerleaders with pink palms and pink socks and... Didn't have our pink stat stream shirts. Sorry, Bill. We'll have to get those for next year. Cheerleading coach Heather Morga. She hit me up for our program tonight. Pass is complete flip. to number 26. And he's tackled by number 17, Matt <laughs> Hessler. That's a nice tackle. That's Jonathan Horton, number 26, trying to shake off. He's trying to kick Hessler off. <laughs> Couldn't do it. <laughs> Got down to 10, so a four-yard gain. Well, I'm glad I got this program from uh, Coach Morga because I wouldn't know any of these broad run Spartans without it. <laughs> yes. Yes, they didn't have them up front, and there was no. nothing online. Usually I'll uh, pull them off online and print it out for you, but not today. All right, second goal for the Spartans. Griffiths' is shotgun. He'll drop. he look right. He'll throw it right. Nice defense. Nicely defended. Hessler. Hessler again. What a defensive play there by sophomore number 17, Matt Hessler. That was One-on-one nice. -on -one locked up with the larger wide receiver, Isaiah Lamond. And we say that a lot when we talk about Hessler. He's continually matched up with some big wide receivers. Yeah, and that's, I mean, you know, you're not going to put your bigger players out of corner. You look at Antoine Stokes on the other side, and he, he's maybe 5'9 out there. So Hessler did a great job on that one. Knocked Third the and goal. They blitz. They go back to Lamont. This time Same play. he beats Hessler on the slant. He ran the out, and this time he comes back. He fakes the out, and he runs the slant, and he connects Griffiths to Lamont. Touchdown, Spartans. Yeah, that was just a, I mean, it's a nice play. You got one-on-one -on -one out there. The offense has the advantage. You know where you're going. The defender does not. So... A good ball fake to freeze the line. 
quick play and quick touchdown. Oops, and I didn't capture Griffiths the replay. Griffiths will hold. The snap is good. The hold it. is good. The kick is up, and the kick is good. With six minutes and 43 seconds to go here in the third, the Spartans jump out on top of the Vikings 21-7. to you got a replay? You want me to do some uh, Let stat. me see. I might have been a little slow. Yeah, it looks like I'm. Do some it. sponsors. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Once again, my name is Bill Russatella. With me, of course, is Rod Ogren, who does all the stats. We're not able to bring you any of these broadcasts without the support of all of our sponsors. So a special thanks to Gold Athletics. They raise funds for all of our local high schools, Velocity Wings, six family-friendly locations in downtown Percival. They will be open after the game. Valley Energy. The smart choice for all your propane, diesel fuel, and heating oil needs. ValleyEnergy.org. Mannix HVAC. If a problem occurs with your heating or cooling system, don't panic, Rod. Call Mannix. Call Mannix. They will be there when you need them. Mannix HVAC.com. Lydia Clark Realty. Lydia sells Loudon. Lydia Clark is a military relocation specialist. The Percival Pub. Open this summer. The place to be, downtown Percival, they're showing the game now, and they will be open after the game as well. Loudon Valley Floors, since 1991, the place to go for all your flooring needs. And here's the kickoff. Another it's pooch. a short kick. It's fumbled oh. by Corkery. He's going to pounce on it at the 26-yard line. Back to the rest of our sponsors real quick. Kathy Hessler Homes, kathyhessler.com, your Loudon County go-to agent. Kathy provides Where comprehensive real estate dude. services to home buyers and sellers. Her son is number 17, Matt Hessler. Our man, Wayne the Voice Matthews. Voice Sports. The Voice Reporters now viewing our youth consistently everywhere. See tomorrow's sports stars today. Check out the hottest hashtag in youth sports. Hashtag the Voice Reporters now! Exclamation point. And Loco Sports, locosports.info, partnering for the game of the week every week. And our man, Nolan Potts from Loco Sports. There you have it, Rod. Very good and good timing. Right as the play starts, a little screen pass by the Vikes. Will Dane. Caught by Dane. 40. Will Dane, 45, oh, he's got 50, room. 45, 40. They're not going to catch Will Dane. No, they are he's not. He's going to take it to wow. the house. Will wow. Dane with the first offensive play for the Vikings in the second half. Takes the middle screen and go. Oh, there is a flag. Well, no, no flags. Tracy, I don't you, see any flags. You killed me. I thought you said it was a flag. No, I was looking for <laughs> flags. <laughs> oh, no flags. Oh, there is one. There's one in the end zone. Oh, all right. That may be a celebration flag. Yeah, I don't we'll care about that, that one. Yeah, we'll kick off from the 20. We God, don't care. You guys scare me with that flag. <laughs> Will Dane takes the center screen and goes the distance. They're not going to catch that Will Dane beautiful. when he's out in front. That was a beautifully designed play. All right, now that Juice. one I did get on replay. Well, thank so you just for getting that replay. Give me a minute here. You talk about I apologize answering. to the Broad Run fans for the missed replay on the other one. Broad Run comes out with a long drive and goes all the way down the field and punches it in, and Valley answers with one play. <laughs> one play. <laughs> we expected Broad Run to be explosive, and Valley came out and did the explosion. And there's a there's a flag. All right, I'll tell you what, while they sort that out, let's show you this replay. All right. So here you go. McClellan. Let him come through. Going to drop back. Perfect call that. on the blitz. Look at Look that. Look at that. Once he got to the 40, he almost tackled himself. He stumbled. But at this point, he's just pulling away now. He is. Nobody was even they close to him. They got seven guys chasing him. Or six. One, two, three, there's four. There's a flag. Six guys chasing him. What Whoops. was the flag for? I Maybe he cussed at the ref on the way by? No, no, the previous no, flag no, no. at the very end of the. Yeah, no, because the flag came out. It was right a, as he crossed right the, goal the goal line. line. I'm guessing. I, I. Uh, really? Okay, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see on the. Uh, All right. So the we'll kick is up and good. The score is now 21 to 14. Will Dane, we believe, might have been flagged for holding the ball up when he crossed the goal line. Yeah, it could have been. I mean, as Broad runs walking by the ref, they might have said something well, unsavory, and uh, that's an automatic penalty. Well, all I can but tell we'll you see. is there were six guys chasing Will Dane, and yeah. they weren't going to catch him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, we'll see where they kick off from. This will tell us who the penalty was on. He could have run from here to Round Hill. 
<laughs> and they weren't going to catch it. We might have run out of gas by then, but <laughs> <laughs> it was on the Vikes. Oh, that was the offsides. Well, the home faithful here not liking the public address announcer's comments about the penalty being against the Vikings for unsportsmanlike. <laughs> it was against the Vikings. Uh, no well, the he's PA just calling what happened. <laughs> but the home fans did not like to hear that. Yeah, I'm, uh, I mean, holding the ball up as you cross the I goal guess. line, that's I mean, a all penalty? he did was that's hold weird. the ball up. Yeah. It's not like he stopped and turned around and taunted him. And it's in the play. So Listen, he anyway. ran it. What did he run about? 80 yards? Yeah, Let the kid hold the 70, ball up. 73. Okay, he ran 73 yards. Yeah, you know. It's homecoming. Yeah. Let the kid hold the ball up over his head as he crossed the goal line. <laughs> he didn't spike it in anybody's face. He didn't I, gyrate around. I think Mr. Dane would take that penalty any day. Yeah. And I don't all think the coach did, are going to give him too much grief for it. All he did was hold it. the ball up. Exactly. All right, here we go. Siobhan kick Back off. to yeah. action. And kicking off for the Vikings oh, is sorry. number 15. Nick Siobhan. Nick Siobhan. I only know this from his 25. JV. Kick is going to go down to about the 30. It's going to fall. And it's going to be picked up, picked up the by number Oh, what a nice, nice open tackle. field tackle. That's John Lohr, that? I believe. 36, yeah. Number 26, the safety. John Lohr brings them down right away. Number 11 on the reception was Romelo Minor. 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 You know, Rod, I ran off all those sponsors. There's one sponsor I didn't I mention. No, you didn't. He's not on your my own. list. No, because it's not a new list. It's I haven't printed PMA out yet. PMA Insurance <laughs> Services. Who are they? We don't know. We don't know. I never heard of them. I don't know. All I can tell you is some dude named Bill Russatella works at PMA Insurance Services. I believe he specializes in commercial PNC, but it's a full service insurance agent, and he focuses in Loudoun County, has an office in Chantilly, whoever that guy is. PMA Insurance Service. Here we go. Back to Mitchell Griffiths, who's going to hand it to Millar and the there Viking you go. defense. Stuffed him that time. Listen to the crowd. The jungle's fired up. It's a pink out. It's homecoming. And they're in the ball game. They are very much in this ball game. I mean, they're, they're down one score. They've showed a couple of the last two times they've had the ball, they've scored a touchdown. Broad run has not exploded like we thought they might. So, I mean, the defense is holding strong. This is this is a good game. Griffiths is going to give it to uh, number again. 30. Oh, nice tackle there. Who was that? No, number 12. He kept it. You're right. Yeah. I think Cam. That was Cam Miller. Got him by the shoestring. I think Cam Miller got him by the ankles. Yeah, because that was the play. I think what he actually did was I think he batted his right ankle into his left ankle <laughs> and tripped him up. <laughs> yeah, that's all it takes. That's the same play he ripped off the big gainer before, right? Yes. Yes, it was. He faked me out again. Yeah, it's a nice fake. He's got, got good fake moves in there. Fake moves. Fake moves. real moves. He's got some <laughs> fake moves. <laughs> I'm coining new terms as we go. All right, so this time he's going to give it to Millar. Again. Nowhere stuff. to go. Number 69 clogs that up. That is, let me see here, Nate Kalora, Nate Kalora the big yeah. man there. He comes off the field. Mason Raymer comes back onto the field. And it's fourth down, and they're going to be forced six. to punt it away. Wow. You got to be careful here, though, here. Rod. You got to be careful. Yeah. I don't think they're going to fake the Late this coming point, onto the field we'll is number five, Keyshawn Dyson. He does punt it. Austin blows a nice punt. Fair, Fair catch. catch. Ooh. 22. Evan Davis with the uh, fingertip grab. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little, not as clean as you would hope. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. Man, oh, man. But, hey, nonetheless, he did, he he did tuck it, it away. Yep. And they'll set up shop. First and 10 from yep. their own 23. 23. They're only down by seven. Four minutes and 26 seconds to play here in the third. The Viking horn is sounding. It's a pink out. It's homecoming. And there's energy here at Leonard Stadium. Yes, and the Vikes, as we said, they scored quickly on their last drive as they take it. Now we got an equipment issue here. Look like uh, Cooper Tunnel. Super Cooper coming off for a helmet problem. Somebody's got to go on. And it's going to be number 56. <laughs> Somebody's got to go on. Connor Van Tassel. 
Is he a sophomore or junior? Bad I don't Jackson. know. I don't. I don't have it, it here. Say. Oh, it doesn't list it on there. Fifty-six is a sophomore. He's a sophomore. Yeah, he lives in my neighborhood. So he'll the come Van on. Tassels. Shane oh, Corsco is, is wide left, number thirteen. McClellan is shotgun. He's got Dane with him. He ripped off the long center screen. He drops back. He's going to throw got it. Time. He's got, got Devin. Oh. Oh. Looking well for defended. Davis. Yeah, it looked like Broad Run was in a zone defense there. Number 19 almost got his fingertips on it. That is Andrew Bryson. Um, well thrown ball. Yeah, he was open for a moment, but yeah, there were a lot of defenders collapsing on it. He would yeah. have really had to drop the dime in there. He, he would have had to connect. drop that. Yeah, he was in yeah. between three defenders. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this time Jack Cotrera will go wide right. Shane Washko, number 13, is wide left. In the slot is Evan Davis. So the Vikes with momentum trying to capitalize. Throw it to uh, Cotrera, nice and he catch. makes the catch. Wow. That's a nice catch by number 11, that Jack nice Cotrera. Catch. As the broad run defenders are going nuts, saying the ball was incomplete, they're winding up a storm. The pass what? is complete. Uh, no, they call it incomplete. Oh, now they're saying it's incomplete. Uh, All right. I don't know who called that one. Well, I don't know. Broad Run called that one, apparently. <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought it was complete. <laughs> That's all right. Broad so, Run coaches are very unhappy still about the way the first half ended. Yeah. They're jumping around over there, and now it's incomplete. It'll set up third and long for McClellan. Yeah, he had him open on that. It would have been about a five-yard game. Looks like Just the blocking back this time is number 43. It's not Cam Miller. That's Sam Stern in there to block. Ooh, low snap. McClellan yeah. has it and nowhere to go. That was just a bad snap. Yeah, that play was ugly from the get-go. Hmm. Well, that went nowhere. Yeah, that was uh, not a good-looking series there where they had a little momentum. You know, now they got a punt of the way to the highly talented broad run offense. Clock is ticking down to three minutes and 40 seconds to go in the third. McClellan, 89, is going to kick it. Oh, no, Evan Davis jumps. <laughs> Evan Davis is going to, 28. It's going to push him back now. Mcclellan will be punting from his end zone, Rod. As he's, <laughs> he's standing on he's back. standing on the he's standing on the goal line. Oh yeah, he is standing on the goal line. Wow. Back further than I thought. Well, he gets it away. The wind's gonna knock it down. It's gonna take a little bit of a valley. Nope. Goes back to the forty yard line. Forty yard line. It'll be touched down there by Dayton Fairchild. And broad run will set up. First and 10 is it's actually going to be on the 39-yard line now. And 89, McClellan here is hearing it from his coach over here on the sideline. I don't know what happened to Cam Miller. He's out there at nose guard. I see him out there. Well, Normally he's the blocking back. Yeah, but they're rotating. I mean, you can't. It's hard to play the entire game of defensive line and then block as well. All right, here comes Griffiths. Setting up shop in Viking territory. First and 10 from the 39. He'll keep it. Oh, oh Cooper knocked Tunnel. down by Cooper. Tanel almost intercepted that pass. <laughs> the big six foot six, number 71, put both his big mitts up. He almost picked it off, Rod. Yeah, that would have been a heck of a catch. That would have been a spectacular play. <laughs> they tried to throw that bubble screen again. They did. And the big man, Cooper Tanel, was right there. If you want to throw it over 71 on a bubble screen, you got to throw it up <laughs> towards the moon. Yeah, you got to sort of throw around him, I think, is a better strategy. But So the pass is incomplete. It'll be second and 10 from the 39. Millar in the backfield with Mitchell Griffiths, the senior quarterback. He'll give it to Millar. He'll run over left guard. He stood up, but he'll pound it out for a gain of about four, maybe five. Cam Miller on the stop. It'll be third and a long, maybe third. Yeah, third and six. Third and six. Third and six, and they're ringing the bell, but this is two down territory, so I wouldn't get too excited about third down. Just need to get a stop. And Number 59 for broad run. Again. Mamadou Conte checks in. 
They'll Mamadou. Send Mamadou checks in. There's two wide outs to the left. Is he a basketball Griffiths player? Griffiths is going to hand it to Millar. Millar, like you said, is going to pound it during two, four down, four down territory. Yeah. They're not even thinking about kicking this one. 32. Big number 58, Mason Raymer will check in. Fairchild will check out as Coach Bishop trying to bring some beef in on fourth and two. Huge play in the ball game. The biggest play of the ball game and broad run will take a timeout. You got any replays you want to show there, boss man? Yes. Hang on. Got my down or distance messed up here. All right, That's you take your time. Four. I'll show you these. Uh, you'll see the bottom of our broadcast. See if we got a replay. We have some okay. sponsors coming across. Uh, there are some stats coming for you too. Look at that. Yeah, let's let's do that. Yeah. There's Valley Energy. Yep. What I do? There's the band. <laughs> and we're giving a little oh, we uh, this love play. to the band director, our man That's Rick the, Reeves. That's the. Here's a bubble screen. Oh, watch that again. Look at that. What Will Dane. He Look, he's going to score the 40, again. The 45, <laughs> the 50, the 45, the 40. The, they're not going to catch him, Rod. There's a whole host of broad run Spartans yep. chasing him, and he throws the flag. All yeah, the kid did, that. you saw it there, was put the ball over his head. Yeah, that was strange. I don't agree with that call. I'm sorry. No, I don't either. But, you know, it's that's the rule, so they're calling and, it a rule. And it does, that, that play is done and over with. Back to what matters. It's fourth and right. two. Fourth and Huge three. Huge play like in the three. ball game. We're down under two minutes to go in the third. <laughs> fourth and two. First time I've seen them huddle. And he'll keep it himself. And, and oh, oh he's going to get there. Him. They almost had him. As Corkery gets tied up in the backfield with 57. Joshua Allison. They had a shot at him, Rod. They couldn't get him down. He's a yep. big, he's a big ball carrier. He's, that quarterback. he's a big kid. Yeah, no doubt. Mm, big play there. All right, so first and ten for Broad Run. No running backs this time. Five wideouts. Griffiths, all kinds of time. He's going to go into the end zone deep. Pass is it's caught. It nice is caught. Catch. Yep. Touchdown, Broad Run. Hey, Romello he was, Minor. He was well covered. They just dropped the dime right in there. He had all kinds of time to throw the ball. Minor goes up. That time he times his jump perfectly and comes down with the touchdown pass from Griffiths. Yeah, that was that was a nice pass. Nice pass and a nice catch. I mean, Valley did a pretty good job covering, but sometimes there's not much you can do when you got Receiver's got a, a nice jump, good height to begin with, timed it well, and there you have it. Yeah, nice athletic 14. play made by a strong quarterback, <laughs> Griffiths, me. and a strong wide receiver there, Romello Minor. Injured on the play for broad run is number 56, Tyler Smedley. He's still down being looked at. Yeah, I do have that replay. All right, they're looking Not for a the trainer Valley over here. They're calling to the here. Valley bench. They're looking for some help over here. All right, here comes your replay, Bill. All right. This is going to be Griffiths, I believe. He's a 25-yard touchdown pass. Yeah, he, he threw it pretty quick. I mean, Valley, it wasn't a matter of time. And, I mean, there's two defenders over there. Just went up and caught it. You know. I don't know who that was. I think that would have been Avery Nance back there on the coverage. Could have been. He was hurt earlier. I don't know if he's back or not. Uh, but anyway, nice play by Griffiths. Nice reception. I'm by, sure who it was. Uh, I forget who that number 11. I forget who That's kicked Romello. It. Romello, yeah. Minor. Yep, this is a nice athletic play. Snap is good. Yep. Flags Flag. fly. Oh, Nance got injured earlier? Uh, earlier in the season, excuse me. Oh, no, he's been playing. Though, he's been playing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so... Broad Run has scored on both possessions here of the second half. Uh, no, two no? three. They stopped him back here, remember? They had a punt. Oh, you're so right. So right okay. after our uh, big yep, score, yeah, yeah, they yeah, had yeah, a punt. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. All right, number 43 for Broad Run is Isaac Latimer. So now we got Holding is Griffiths. Longer extra point. And that kick is up. And that, another flag. Still that good. kick is good. No flags. No good. flags. Had a lot of kicks or a lot of penalties on 
you know, non-scrimmage plays. Yeah. <laughs> Penalties on touchdowns, on kickoffs, on extra points. It's very strange to see that many on those kind of plays. But nonetheless, 14 to 28 here. As we get ready for a broad run to kick off. And here, we'll show you some stats. Where do we go here? All stats. So, at this point, Valley still is hanging pretty tough in far as total yards. Broad run got 192 to 139 for Valley. The first down numbers are the huge difference there. As Broad run, we thought they might have more big plays, but they've really been driving pretty well. Yep. Um, 14 more plays in Valley as well, as you see there. Valley only one of seven on third down. That's that's not helping. <laughs> but the rushing is still 1.9 yards for Valley. They haven't been able to run much. Their passing went up on that one big play with uh, Dane. As we get set for kickoff here, we'll turn it back on. You know, earlier in the season when you and I were uh, just starting out up here, I was uh, saying that Will Dane was the power runner and Andrew Corky was the speed runner. And senior quarterback Caleb Smith corrected me. And he's right. Will Dane is a speed runner. He does run with power as well, but he does have some speed. On that long touchdown, we've seen a couple times, he's had about four long touchdowns this year where once he gets into the open rod, they're not going to catch him. Yeah, he's, uh, he's definitely got, got some wheels. And he showed it on that play. Excuse me, I have a scratch in my the throat here. Vikings are playing <laughs> tough, and they do have some injuries. We mentioned earlier they're starting wideout Stephen Calavocus has a uh, either a broken or a fractured rib. He's not playing tonight. Uh, their kicker, Nick Van Zant, has a dislocated knee. Uh, he's not playing tonight. But they haven't really suffered in the kicking game as McClellan has done fine on the extra points, and he seems to have gotten his punt snaps under control now. <laughs> yeah, he had a little issue. <laughs> had some issues early on, which <laughs> led to a broad run touchdown, although that wasn't his fault. That was no. just a missed, miscommunication on the blocking as Valley tries to run up the middle and goes pretty much nowhere. Yeah. Is that Dane? Yeah. So uh, we mentioned earlier in the first half the Vikings were averaging two yards a carry. Um, they start out with the run as we're under a minute to play here in the third. No gain, no gain on the play. It's going to be second and ten. And let's see if they go to the air here, Rod, as I'll send Evan Davis wide left. Austin Blizzard's in the slot. To his right, I believe he has Cotrera and Washko. I'm looking for him to come back to that screen pass. I mean, it worked so well. McClellan throws it. It's dropped. That was number 13. I believe that was Shane Washko over there. Unable to connect on that one. It's going to bring up third and nine. As I get, he did get a yard in the first carry. So third and nine. Will Dane checks in. Andrew yeah. Corkery checks out. Yeah, not the down and distance you want. Unfortunately, it makes it tough to run. Well, it might not be a bad spot for a for a little screenplay. I mean, that one worked so well. Even if you only get 10 yards out of the next one, it still gets your first down. <laughs> but we shall see yeah, there's what uh, Coach has Big number sleeve. five here. Is, looks like he, if he blitzes, I don't see anybody that's ready to block him. Maybe somebody's going to pick him up. Uh, he does blitz. He gets picked up. There it is. Oh, Ooh. that's going to be that's interference, be I would believe. No, they don't throw that's the flag. That's interference. I don't know how he that's not interference. He wasn't going the ball at all. Austin wow. Blizzard. Austin Blizzard wow. got tackled while he went up to catch the ball. Yeah, that was uh, – uh, all right. All right, well, that'll work. I didn't see that. I didn't <laughs> I see didn't that penalty flag. Yeah, we were watching His the – His foot's uh, on it. He's standing on the flag. Yeah. That's why you can't see it. So, McClellan takes a big hit, but he's a big kid. He's fine. No worse for the wear eight. Big number 90, the blocking back checks in. Cam Miller, it'll be an automatic first down for the Vikings. Personal foul, roughing the passer, moves the ball all the way out to the 45-yard line. Could have been two fouls there on the defense, Rod. Yeah, I thought so, too. I actually did capture that replay. I want to see what happened there. Well, well it's first and ten for the Vikes. At the quarter break, we can take a look at that okay. one. Once you, again, it'll be McClellan in the shotgun. He's got three backs there with him. He's going to hand it to Corkery. Oh, keep Corkery running out. spins for a short gain, maybe not, two I'm yards. Not, I'm not quite sure what he saw. It looked like he had quite an opening on the outside and cut it back in. He picks up a gain of two, and that might be the last play of the third quarter. 
Yeah. As they're sure. going to let okay. it run out. Yep. You want to show that replay? Okay, yeah, I will show that replay. This is the play Let's where see. we thought there was going to be a defensive pass interference. Austin uh, Blizzard went up to catch the ball. Looked like he was interfered with. Let's take a look at it. Statstream.biz yep. with the replay. Here it comes. Rod Ogren. This is what he does, folks. <laughs> Not for a living, just for fun. All right. So there all right, so there's the pass, and you see Blizzard down here near, just near the 40-yard line making the cut. We're pointing to it like they can see it on the screen. I'm showing you. And Yeah, I mean, that guy's not going for the ball at all. He, like, falls out in front of him. It was very yeah, strange. Maybe he missed him, but it looks like he made contact to me. Oh, he certainly made contact. Yeah, I mean, he's coming in. I mean, there's contact there. Yeah. Maybe it's he, incidental contact. But, I mean, he, but he wasn't going for the ball, and he affected the, the receiver's ability the to catch it. On the back end of the play. Yeah, let's go back. You got some Watch roughing the passer. Oh, a late hit by 57. Sure was. Yeah, it was, yeah, the guy from behind. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, thought, I thought the pass interference was worse than the roughing the passer, honestly. But <laughs> Well, they called the, the uh, roughing the passer on Joshua Allison. Gave him a little shot there. Yeah, Didn't he did. It. But it was kind of, I mean, you know, it's not the NFL. He was still in the throwing motion. Uh, I watch that guy they, warm they up. He's, yeah. he's got a little attitude. Yeah. He brings a little they, attitude. Oh, well, look at that. We're getting our, our Andrew Reed. Is texting us. I believe he's in Nashville. Yes, he is. And he's asking what the score is. Yeah, what? Tell him to watch it. Loudon Valley <laughs> alumni. I guess he's got better things to do in Nashville, like go to Tootsie's. Nah. Um, I'll give him the score, though. So McClellan on the keeper of that one. Gets out to the 48. A one yard gain makes it third and seven. All right, so Dyson on the tackle. Four back the to the action here. Andrew Reed checking in from Nashville. It's going to be third and seven as the Vikes come up to the 48-yard line. And Wasco big play will go here. left. We're in the Evan Davis comes right. In the fourth quarter, we really need to, need to sustain this drive and get some points on the board. McClellan, shotgun. He'll roll to his left. He's going to throw it deep. Looking for Wasco. Uh, come on, Wasco! Looked like he was interfered with. Yeah, he didn't. He wasn't allowed to, to run. I don't know. Wasco, there was some contact there. No flag, and they yeah, the will fans are punt it away. The, fans are screaming for defensive holding, and it kind of looked like it from our angle. Yeah, there was now definitely. He's, yeah, I mean, if the, if the defender's in position, you can't just run through him. But it certainly looked like he impeded his progress. That was a nice pass by McClellan. That was a nice pass. He's showing me something with his arm tonight. Yeah. He's in there to protect the punter as well right now. Or to do the fake punt like we did earlier. This time McClellan punts it away. It's a good kick. That's Out of bounds, good. angled. Oh, it takes a oh, bad broad bounce. run. Back It'll to be touchdown to the 25-yard line by Evan Davis. It was a good kick, though. Angled out there. You thought it would keep going and go you know, inside the 20. Yeah. So at the 25. All right, so now we're in the fourth quarter. Going to be a lot of pressure on the Valley defense. Yeah, you really got to have a stop here. You don't want to get down three touchdowns to these guys. Yep, need a stop. Need a stop here for sure. Once again, broad run coming in. Rod heavily favored in this game, right? Yeah, I don't know what the line was. It's, you know, Vegas wasn't giving, us, giving me the odds this morning, but <laughs> they were definitely heavily favored. They're coming in undefeated. Coming in 5-0 and undefeated, uh, I'm sure they're a heavy favorite to win the state championship. They've been in the Loco Sports uh, top five pretty much the entire season, as expected. They run that fake That's play nice and nowhere play. to go. Big number 71, Cooper Tunnell, along with number 90. Oh, no, that's Trent Weller again in there. Trent Weller made a lot of tackles in this ball game. 71, Cooper Tunnell wraps them up. Number 40, Trent Weller finishes them off. Maybe squeezed out one yard there to be second and long for broad run. They'll bring those two big wideouts left. Number 11 is Miner. 13 is Chambers. Yeah, they got some size out there. When we have a minute. And he'll keep it himself again. That is Griffiths, the senior quarterback, where he fakes the handoff. He's run that play several times, and every time he runs it, he picks up at least five yards, it seems like. Yeah, and he got six on that one, five or six looks like. So, yep, it's been a pretty successful play for him. Let's see what his yardage numbers look like. 
Another big play here Passing. for the Viking defense. Yeah, this is get a stop here and you get off the field. Nope. Are they going to bring the blitz? Lower showing blitz. Weller showing blitz. Hunter Robinson, they're all showing blitz. Which means Griffiths is probably going to do a quick throw to one of his big wide receivers or just hand it off. He hands it off to Millar. Oh. He cuts over the right side. What nice a tackle. tackle. What a tackle there by 31. Austin Blizzard, who has yeah. made several amazing ankle tackles in this ball game. Yeah, that was a nice tackle. It sure looked like he had plenty of room to get that first down when they handed him the ball. So fourth and short. Broad run has had big, know, what's great going success. On? Well, they've had great success that? on short yardage. Something going on with Tunnell's uh, shoulder pads, or he has to come off. Ooh, that's We're looking not at good. his shoulder pad or his back of his neck or something. Mason Raymer comes on fourth and inches, and he'll keep it again. He'll run yeah, out. He'll pick it up. Yeah, they have not had a problem picking those up all day. He picks up around four yards on the play, and brings it across the 40-yard line. Oh, no, he's marked down to 39. But it is another broad run first down as we're down to 8 minutes and 44 seconds to go here in the ball game. Broad run up by 14 and possession. Yeah, the definitely need to ticking. stop here. Cannot let these guys continue to drive and score or this game will be over. Cooper looks like he has something going on with his neck over here. He's been looked at. He's rotating his neck around. I don't know if he jammed his neck, but he's on the sidelines. Let's see what kind of numbers Griffiths has. They're going to hand running. it off to Millar, and he's still on his feet. He's just a big bull. Yeah, and he pounds it over the right side. Number two, Avery Nance in there on the stop, along with, I think that was Hunter Robinson, maybe 45 that was in there. Number 42 is Dayton Fairchild. He comes off. Austin Blizzard comes off. I don't like him coming off. <laughs> no. I'd rather right. have him on the field. <laughs> All right, All right. second, second three. And three. I don't know how I missed the first down on the previous play, but either here or there. Broad run, taking a little more time now. Trying. Oh, they fake the handoff. They throw it to 13 Chambers. Oh, boy. Chambers still on his feet. Stokes trying to brush him down. It'll be another first down for broad run. He's finally brought down by Hunter Robinson and Avery Nance. They faked the handoff and threw the bubble screen again, Rod. Yeah, that was a nice nice little screenplay there, and uh, Chambers did a good job just kind of pushing his way forward for the for a good yardage. And the clock continues to run down to seven minutes and ten seconds. Griffiths looks right, rolls right, he's going to keep it. Then he throws, oh, it's going to be oh, intercepted! Hit. Yes! Ball All is right, huge off. play. Is that lore? I don't know. It was a pinball Number out 17, there. 17, Matt Hessler. Matt Hessler picks it off. The sophomore defensive back for Valley. Boys, he's psyched up. Man, that was Griffiths that was with a... some indecision that time. He was going to throw it. Then he was going to run it at the last second. He rifled it into the seam there, and his receiver had no idea that pass was coming. Yeah, it looked like a pinball in there. It bounced off two or three players and kind of wound up in Hessler's hands, and we, we did get the replay. We'll show you that. Yeah, it stuck as as right we, in between the one and the seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big yeah, it doesn't turnover. matter where it sticks, as long as Huge it sticks. Huge turnover for the Viking defense. <laughs> now McClellan's going to look to pass. He'll throw the screen. Oh, he had it. It was oh, set up they well. They blitzed. They set blitzed, up and they had well. the screen call, the perfect call for the blitz, and he, and he was just out of his reach. It. Yep. Too bad. That could have gone for some pretty good yardage there. And Blake Moore, we talked about him, the sophomore, brings a lot of speed. He checks in in the game. We haven't seen him carry the ball or touch the ball, really. I'd like to see them get an opportunity. He's got some speed, and he can break off the long one. He'll line up in the wingback position. No running backs. And he'll keep it himself. They spread the offense. McClellan like, kept it himself. Yeah, McClellan yeah, kept you're, it. You're talking about Blake Moore. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> well, they ran the spread Dirty. offense. They tried to do some trickery. Seven. That was trickeration. Some trickeration. It didn't work very well. No, unfortunately, it didn't. Oops. Got one yard. And Oops. unfortunately, on. the clock 36. continues to run. They're wasting a lot of time here. It's a big play. I get that, but the clock is not in their side. 
So they bring in Dane. They got Contreras in there. Right, Shane Washko has been quiet tonight. He's wide right. Contreras in the slot. McClellan's going to look right. He'll throw it for Washko. Got He's got it. That's the 45. A little bit short. But he's short of a first but, down. Yeah, but this is four down time. But it is a nice gain. It'll be fourth and two, maybe fourth and one. Fourth and one. That's the ball the game right here. The 45. This is the ball game. You're right. Will McClellan keep it, Rod? Uh, I'm going for RPO here. Roll him out. If he's got the opportunity, to run it. The problem is he's a righty. RPO. And the open field is Run to pass the left option. Side. Yes. Okay, I'm yes. saying he's going to keep. I think he's going to keep it himself. Let's see what he, he does. May. I'm just saying. Give he me does option. keep You're it right. himself, you, and you he may, busted you, in for a first down. You got the call. The big senior quarterback, 16. Well, we've seen earlier All in the right. game at the end of the first half when he needed a yard, he ran it four times yeah. in a row. Yeah, but they were also in a, in hurry up. We didn't have much time, just kind of try to do something mode. But hey, it's like you said, that's been working all day for him. So don't go away from it. All right, so first looks, down now. The clock continues to tick. They're taking a lot of time. Blake Moore checks back in. The sophomore speedster Washko will go right. Evan Davis will go left. In the backfield this time as a blocking back is number 43, Sam Sturm. McClellan gives it to Blake Moore. He's got some speed. He breaks it across midfield, no okay, room. But, I mean, yeah, like you said, Blake Moore is, he's your outside guy. Yeah, Kind yeah. of weird to send I him off tackle. I thought he was going to cut it outside. Yeah. And he anyway, busted they got three. Yeah. He got three out of it. He picks up three. Like you said, yeah, with five minutes, I mean, Valley does have all three timeouts, but four and a half, you got to do something pretty quick here. Yeah. Well, this they defense have, is tough. There's no doubt about that. It is, but they haven't had – Broad Run has not had a lot of three and outs. All right, let's see if they get the ball in the hand of Will Dane this time in that screen pay. There, look, there, it, there it is. Oh, is. no, there's oh. wide open. Contrera. Pass is caught. And he gets out it of bounds. It will be a first down for Valley. Jack Contrera, number 11. You know, they rolled out Dane over here. I thought they were going to throw the screen pass. Yeah, I did and they too. Hit Contrera. I did too. What do you want with the 42? No, don't start the clock. Why he got out of they bounds. Winding the clock. He went out. Of, oh, come I, on, it's under man. Under five minutes. Come on, man. He was out of bounds. He was out of bounds. I don't know why they're winding the clock. Anyway, little payback for the end of the first half. <laughs> Far be it for us to judge. No, we we're just, gonna judge. Yeah, we're gonna judge. That's right. That's what we do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. They're paying us Contreras almost no money to judge. Clearly out of bounds, but the clock is still running anyway. Here we go. McClellan, shotgun. Time ticking away. He drops back. Blitz. There's the screen there pass. There And there's Will Dane. He cuts it to the 40. It's going right, to break it down to 36. He'll pick up seven. It'll be second and three. 37. About five out maybe, of it. Maybe second and four. Yeah. Or five. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. The down and distance doesn't matter so much as the clock right now. The clock's still ticking. It's actually pretty close to accurate on your screen. I try to keep it accurate. McClellan's going to go shotgun. He's going to throw it over. For, that's Washko. Oh, man. Pass is incomplete All right. to Washko. It would have been short of a first down. Might have been close to the sticks, but the clock does stop. And they're in two down territory, obviously. We're down to 3.06 to play. McClellan has been at the helm all night. We have not seen number eight, Caleb Smith, as they've gone with the larger quarterback, McClellan, who played so well last week in the second half against Heritage. He's gone all the way, and now 15 is in there in the wing position. That's Nick Chavone, Chavone on offense. And McClellan's going to throw it. Oh, that's got to be That's got to be holding. Come on. Yes. There it is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That one was kind of obvious. Yeah, he got tackled at a 25. <laughs> now, I will say this. The pass was well overthrown. Yeah, and but how Willie you... Gaunt wasn't going to catch up to that one. But Well, you can't tell because he got held so bad. <laughs> it's I definitely mean, still was... a penalty. It's definitely holding. <laughs> Here, all right, we'll show you this one. This is known as passing. Evan here. Davis, top of your screen. Watch the hole. The 30. Oh, oh. It was, it was, ah. <laughs> he got burned on the stop and, and both, go. Both refs yeah. threw it through <laughs> it. That's a nice pattern by Davis. It was, yeah. He ran the hitch and the go. Yep. 
Is that a stop and go, whatever you want to call it, a little hitch pattern, he went. I mean, you know, the defensive back knew he was beat, so he tackled him. Yep, that's what you do. Although he did have safety help over the top. He did. He might but, not have known that, though. Yeah, regardless. <laughs> First Valley and 10, ball, McClellan. 22. Broad run blitzes. He's to throw it deep oh, into the end zone. Got it. Washko Too battling far. there. Another flag is thrown. Oh, wow. Now, that one I'm surprised at. That wasn't. It could be on Washko. Who's that called on? That was not a very catchable They were pass. pushing. They but were the both flags, battling. I don't know who that's going to call the, it on. The flag's at the the flag's at the goal line, so it's probably holding. Uh, let's see what they call here. I mean, the pass was basically uncatchable, but regardless, you can't hold the man. Well, there was definitely a lot of contact. They're discussing it. Yeah. Haven't seen a signal yet. It's going to go against the defense. Yep. It'll be pass interference, and it will be first and goal for the Vikings. Where's the ball going to be marked? Uh, it should be at the 11, or at the, yeah, should be half the distance. They're going inside the 10, I think. Oh, no, it's not going to be first and goal. You're right. It's first and 10 from just outside the 10. At the 10 and a half, maybe we'll call it the 11. It's first and 10 from the 11. All right. All right, need a score. And in a hurry, 254 remaining. Bikes really need to get this one in in the next couple of plays. McClellan, shotgun. He's going to throw it into the end zone. Looking for Too Wasco high. again. No flag. Wasco is down and slow to get up. But he does get up. McClellan has shown a very strong arm in this game, Rod. Yeah, he's got a good arm. He's got to bring him down just a little. I mean, Shane's a tall player, but you got to you got to give him a give him a chance at that one. So 2.49 remaining, second and 10 from the 11. So they can get a first without a touchdown, but not particularly likely in this scenario with the clock running down. And Vikings down by two scores. McClellan shotgun. Once again, he's got three receivers to his right. Wasco, Contrera, and Evan Davis. He looks to his right. He rolls right. He throws it into the end zone. Oh, man, they got batted by two or three players. He's trying to connect with Wasco again. It it's was deflected off Washko's hands, and then Katrera had a shot at it. Yeah, that was, a, that was a pinball in there. But a lot of zip on that pass. He's looked at Katrera. I mean, he's looked at uh, Washko the last four times he's thrown the ball, I believe. Yeah, <laughs> he's a little, telegraphing a little bit over there. but. Uh... All right, once again, Katrera's in the slot. Washko's wide right. Evan Davis is in the slot left. Chavone is wide left. Broad run showing blitz. They do blitz. He rolls right. Oh, he's going to fall down. Late hit. That's, that's late hit by number 57. Wow. They don't I'm call it. They didn't call that. The same guy I told you about, 57, yeah, is he's, called earlier roughing the passer. I mean, that was, he that was, was a late clearly hit. Clearly down, yes. They don't call it. I'm very and surprised the clock they didn't call that. continues to tick again. And not only was it late, it was like landing, on his, landing on his head. Yeah. yeah. I'm really surprised they didn't call that. Yeah. And that uh, I mean, number this 57 is not the pros. You don't is, touch uh, down. Joshua Allison. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, here's the play of All the right. game. Uh, we've said it before, fourth. but now we're in another play of the game. Yeah, fourth and 17. <laughs> <laughs> you got to reach into your fourth and 17 yeah, handbag. Yeah, yes. And we got a timeout. Timeout, broad run. Broad run, interesting. All right, let me get you a real quick. You got a replay. Right. Got to do some sponsors. Yeah, I got a replay. Want to show of, a replay? I think, what do I have? Oh, the pinball play here. The pinball play? Uh, oh, look at that. On. That's not it. I feel like that's some kind of a That's the clock. Saying. Don't you want a replay of the clock? Is Come that on, like, isn't that uh, exciting? Out of Psalms? What just is that? Give, just give me a moment, <laughs> young man. Uh, here we go. Oh, we this go. looks more like a replay. This was the pinball effort. Look at him zipped it in there. Boing, boing. <laughs> yeah, that really bounced around. We needed more of a deflection there. <laughs> yeah. Nice if the deflection went up. I'm um, looking at this I play. I mean, Washko had the first crack at it, but. Yeah, I mean, no one's really open. Be. Yeah, no. Nah, they're just forcing it in. Maybe but, I mean, Evan that's what Davis you do. short, yeah. but I mean, you know, good coverage. But, yeah, that, that, yeah, what do you do? I mean, you're limited on your options. So, anyway. All right, here we go. Fourth and 17. 57. There's Velocity Wings. The sponsors are always running on our screen. 
Velocity Wings has six locations, one in downtown Percival. They will be open after the game. There's our man, Wayne Matthews. Wayne, the voice sports. McClellan drops back. He's going to throw it into the end zone. And he's got him. Oh, he throws it short. Oh. Washko was Double open clutch. at the goal yeah. line. Yes, he was. That would have been that would have been the get a yeah. first down without the touchdown play. Yeah, he but threw it a little, a little short, a little short, and behind him. Uh, you know, he threw it a little off balance too. Didn't have yeah. a speed set. Yeah, I mean, he kind of double clutched and brought it down and tried to throw it again. But I mean, it's a good effort. He was open. He was open. Yeah. Okay, so minute fifty-two left. Broad run with the ball. Valley will, of course, be using their – I'm assuming they'll use their timeouts on defense here, but if Broad Run gets basically one first down, this one's over. There's Loudon Valley Floors, the place to go for all your flooring, Neil Hardwoods. They also do cleaning. They'll clean your carpets, and they will put down beautiful hardwood floors. They'll do all kinds of flooring, tile, you name it. Loudon Valley Floors, the place to go. The ball is given to Millar once again, and as you predicted, timeout Valley. That's their first no gain on the play. He actually lost a couple of yards. There's Gold Athletics. Gold Athletics on your screen there. Fundraising is their specialty. If you're looking to raise money for your local high school, there's Kathy Hessler. Her son, Matt Hessler, had the INT earlier. She's a local realtor, KathyHessler.com. Kathy Hessler Homes. For all your real estate needs here in Loudoun County, there's Gold Athletics again, again. coming up. Yeah. Okay. What, are you objecting? Well, I, I thought I we were don't... going to have maybe a, you know, they're going <laughs> to go know. through them randomly. <laughs> oh, look at that. There's, there's PMA. PMA Insurance. <laughs> I don't know who that guy is, but uh, Bill Russatella, PMA Insurance. I'll tell you this, Rod. This Bill Russatella guy, he has won Best of Loudoun. Do you know this? Four years in a row. Four, Four years, years in, a row. in a row. I know. Best I ran out of room to put it on your blurb, though. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> and you also won Best of Fairfax years ago, but that was a long time ago. Anyway, <laughs> here we go. Back to the action. All right. Valley and with we'll two timeouts stats left. After this. Presuming they'll call another timeout. We'll show stats. 71. Cooper Tunnell back on the field for the Vikings. He'll keep it himself. Nowhere to go. That's Trent Weller again. Number 40 has had a whale of a ball game on defense. I don't know how many tackles he's made, but I guarantee you he's getting close to double digits. May have picked up two yards on the play. Let's see, what do we got, 17? Uh, what, right. What's that? Sec yep, there's a minute 35 to go. Weller again on the tackle. All right, here, we'll give you the stats. And there's velocity wings. There's your stats. You got defensive stats? So, yeah, here you go. Uh, well, I only do the top three. Bessler with three tackles and the interception. Cooper Tunnell with four tackles. Now, these aren't full. This is just kind of whatever we pick up. Austin Blizzard with five tackles. So well, number 40, game. Trent Weller has had at least five tackles. I'm going to call a yeah. stat error. Well, no, it's not an error. It just only shows <laughs> the top three, and it bases it on you get more points for an interception than you do for a tackle. Oh, I get so, I get you know, you. it's, it's, What's it's this weighted. Here? Is this a weighted, fumble? Uh, tackle for loss. Oh, for loss. TFL. Okay. And solo tackle tackles. Loss. Yes. Okay. So um, Austin Blizzard with four solos. Well, he has made some nice tackles, Austin so, Blizzard. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. Dang is, look, okay. Dane's go well, 78 yards, that's receiving. The run game just has not been there for the Vikes. They're down to 1.2 per carry. Yeah. But. Well, this broad they, run they, defense oh, is yeah. tough. I mean, Vikings have hung tough. They're down 261 to 158 for yards. Oh, broad, that broad run took a timeout. All right. So back to back There's timeouts. There's on your screen another one of our sponsors, Lydia Clark Realty. Lydia provides comprehensive service to her clients, including pre staging her clients' homes, professional photography and video, and comprehensive marketing. I believe you may have shown a Lydia Clark commercial. I showed it twice, as a matter of time, fact. Right? I did. I showed it twice. Lydia sells loudon.com. Hi, welcome to Loudon Valley Floors. All right, there's Loudon. We're going to go mute. independently owned company founded yes. in 1991. Please. Loudon Valley Floors. We won't, we won't show the whole commercial because we're going to run out of time. Our motto is honesty, integrity, and punctuality, and we strive to deliver exceptional service based on our motto. We want to make sure that we give honest advice based on your needs and not just what we think that you should have in your home. 
We have an incredible selection of products from leading manufacturers in carpet, hardwood, luxury vinyl plank, everything that you can think of. We run our... All right, All right. we are back. Back live here. Down to a minute 35. Third and 13. We look for Broad Run to run some more clock. But no, they're going to throw it. Throw it. As he's back to pass, he throws it. And the pass is incomplete. That will stop the clock. That will force a punt as the senior quarterback, Mitchell Griffiths, tried to hook up once again with his favorite target. That's Romello Minor. Almost completed. It would have been a first down, I believe. Yeah, I think it would have been. He was right out near the sticks. But, yeah, kind of, I mean, I don't know. You're up by two scores. It doesn't matter too much. But no. You're giving, kind of giving well, the other team some hope. You know, Evan by, Davis uh, is back to return. Maybe he'll take it to the house. Ooh, it's a short the punt. On. Watch out. It's a short punt. Get out of the way. Can they hear me, Rod? Yes, they can, Bill. Okay. Everybody good. can hear you, Bill. <laughs> the ball goes out of bounds at the 41-yard line. Yeah, it takes 19. a very nice broad run bounce. Valley almost blocked that kick. I don't know who was in there. They, they had some did. pressure on it. Yep, they came close. And that's, I mean, you might as well try it. In worst case, you run into him and get a penalty. Oh, well. Not that we're encouraging them to run into the kicker, but <laughs> it's not a penalty that would really hurt you at that point. So, minute 19, one timeout. Basically, you need to score very quickly, and then you got to pray for an onside kick, recovery, and another score quickly. So, it's not over, but the odds are long. We don't have the next-gen stats to show you the Valley's percentage chance of winning. Like McClellan's going to roll does. right again. He's going to cut inside, uh, nowhere to go. That's the last thing he wanted. Yep. He keeps rolling right because he's right-handed, and no blocking on the play whatsoever. Maybe would serve him better. You know, it looks like he likes to throw it on the run a little bit. Yeah, and, I mean, you know, against a team like this, it's not a bad thing to, to roll out. But, like you said, he's kind of rolling the same way every time. And Broad runs ready for it. This time the pass is complete to number 11. That's Jack Cotrera, another senior. Doesn't gain any yards on the reception, no, though. No, no, he did. He got, he got back the okay. He got back the sack. Okay. Because he lost some. Okay, so it's yeah. going to set up third and ten. Yep. Um, this time they do stop the clock when Contreras goes out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that too. <laughs> Maybe they weren't quite sure he was out of bounds last time. Who knows? All right. Third yep. and ten from McClellan. 52 seconds remaining. My phone is buzzing. Someone's texting me, but they're just going to have to wait. All right. Let's see if Trevor can throw this ball deep down the field here. Evan Davis is in motion. Washko, his favorite target's right. Pressure up the uh, gut. He's going to look to run it. The 45, the 35, the 30. Still on his feet. He's down the to the 25. It'll be a first down. But the clock is stopped to spot the ball. As they'll now, the clock is still stopped. This is a first down. Once they set the ball, they'll wind the clock, and he'll spike it. All right. Clock stops with 39 seconds to go. 39. Okay. Blake's playing tough here, Rod, trying to hang in as long as they can. They are. They really are. And, I mean, it's just, it's, if nothing else, it's a good practice drill. You know, hey. playing a good team and trying to come down and score quickly. Listen, you take away the blocked punt for a touchdown. Yeah, it's a one-score game. It's a one-score game. Yes. Yeah, Vikes have really they've impressed me tonight, I have to say. I mean, Broad Run comes in, as you said, heavy favorite, undefeated. Loco Sports has them in the top five, probably number two behind Stonebridge, be my guess. And the Vikes have showed out. All right, McClellan's got to throw this. Oh, yep. flags fly. I don't know who left early. It's a false start. I think it's on number seven. I don't know who it was on, but it could have been Evan Davis, but it's not that big of a deal. Backs him up five yards. Yeah. They need to throw the ball into the end zone or close to it. <laughs> well, I would just throw it to the end zone. There's no point in being close. <laughs> well, <laughs> and I got to kick a field goal. They can't do this rinky dink <laughs> passing and just running out of the pocket. They got to set in the pocket and throw the ball deep. Well, he hasn't had time. I mean, he ran out of the pocket because he was about to get crushed. <laughs> There's Evan Davis in motion. They blitz again. He hangs in go. the pocket, and he overshoots uh, Washko. He takes a hit, too, as broad run defenders are just, they're just got their ears what? peeled back. Big. Yep. They got some edge rushers, and they are coming after Melister. Melister. 
That's Melister. Mr. McClellan. <laughs> Melister, Melister. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're right. Uh, you know, if I was number 16, I would not be uh, no, but I willing mean, to it, sit in that yeah. pocket. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think it was uh, – willingness has nothing to do with it. There was no pocket to sit in last <laughs> – not the play before this. And, yeah, like you said, broad runs just bring in the house. They, they know are. what's coming. They're not worried about the no. run. They got these edge rushers. They're blitzing every time. Yep. And they got some big bodies that are coming after number 16. Here yeah. they come again. They blitz again. This time he's got a little time. Oh, oh knocked down. I don't think Evan Davis knew that ball was headed for him. <laughs> he was going to take his ear off if it, if it got through there. Now the line gave him a little time that time. Um, they blitzed. They didn't get through at all that time. And, you know, that time it looked like McClellan was expecting yes. them to get through. <laughs> yes. Well, I mean, it's yeah, it's designed to be a quick throw, but yeah. Davis wasn't ready and didn't really get through to him anyway. He got batted before it reached him. So. I mean, he's got a gun. He threw that in there hard, kind of like the one we saw in the end zone earlier that pinballed off a couple of players. So 29 seconds remaining now. Fourth right. down, and the Vikes take a timeout. That's going to be their last timeout, I believe. Yeah, that'll do it. So, again, another yet another do-or-die do kind of situation here for the Vikes. All right, well, we got a chance, down. Rod. Go what do you what do you have on tap for us next week here? Stats. Uh, so next week, Valley travels to Independence, the new high school, in the Independence Tigers. They have kind of a cool logo, actually. I saw their logo. It's a, you know, the tiger, but then it's like the stars and stripes. So, uh, it's yeah, Independence well, is their for that first detail, year. Rod. Well, you know, <laughs> yeah. I'm the color commentator. You want to tell so us I'm anything? Color. You want to tell us anything about their uniforms? In, in, I don't know about their uniforms. I haven't seen their uniforms. <laughs> Independence has, has had some close games. I mean, they gave Riverside a real run for their money. They've been in games a lot early on, and they seem to kind of get, you know, knocked off at the end. And I don't know if they're just running out of gas. I mean, obviously a new school, who knows what kind of players you have. It usually takes a good four or five years to get a program going. So they haven't won yet, but um, – it's not going to be a, a walk in the park for these Vikings next week. And I'm hoping you're going to be there. I'm actually out of town. Oh, as we geez. Reset. Stop it. Stop it. You as and your reset traveling here. schedule. All right, here we go. Yeah. Fourth and a touchdown. Blitz. He's got time. He steps up in the pocket. Oh. Oh, overthrown. Incomplete. Right, that'll do it. He had Will Dane in the flat. Threw it over his head a little bit there. Yeah. He's on the run tough again. Throw on the run. So. All right, so 23 seconds, we're going to have a victory formation play, and that will wrap us up. So I'll right. we'll give you the final stats. Um, as I was saying, yeah, so Valley Travels Independence next week. Uh, Bill will be there. We'll try to find, hopefully, Nolan Potts can help you out next week. Well, if you're not going to be there, I'm going to need a cameraman, a statistician, <laughs> and a spotter. <laughs> okay, so Bill wants the full crew. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Well, Cameron, we can probably tie in, but yeah, I, I got to find at least one other person to be there, and there won't be the the full array of stats. Uh, but the stream should be good. You guys will do fine down there. Yeah, my son's in college. He's got a Friday night game up in Allentown, PA. In fact, we'll talk about him for a second because they're having quite the season. They're actually ranked, well, they're seventh on D3Football.com. It's the Muhlenberg Mules up in Allentown, undefeated thus far. Looking to uh, continue their undefeated season next weekend. any rate, that's going to wrap it up here tonight for well, that was a us hard here at Loudoun contest Valley. contest for the Viking defense. I will give them a lot of credit, as you mentioned. Uh, we expected this game, you know, we really did expect it to be a runaway. Yeah. Um, Valley held in it. They were in it. They it's really a, did. Yeah, they, Valley, Valley played well. I mean, there's a blocked punt that was returned for a touchdown. Yep. And you take that play out of the game, it's a one. I mean, that play happened, and we can't say it didn't happen. Yeah. But the, the Vikings played tough. Yeah, they did. They, they played well. They they stuck to it. I mean, I was, it was obviously down there down one score at halftime, and we were almost expecting a blowout in the second half, but that didn't right. happen. I mean, Broderick came out and scored on a nice drive to open, and Valley answered right back. And so the Valley just, faithful, well-attended ball game here. The jungle with a pink out. Again, it's homecoming here at Loudoun Valley, and this game was very well attended. You know, sometimes 
you see the jungle kind of head out a little early, but I got to give them credit. They stayed here till the end tonight. Oh, yeah. I mean, there wasn't that much early. You, know, you could have left maybe with two minutes left and Valley didn't score on their fourth and 17. But even then, you still got a shot, you know. You need, you need, some, you need some luck and some semi-miraculous things to happen, but certainly in the realm of possibility until the very end there. Oh, yeah, I just give so. my own son uh, a ribbing when he tells me, oh, he's, he wants to leave in the fourth. I'm like, you, gotta hang, you don't know what's going to happen. you got to hang in there. Yeah, you got to exactly. hang in there. Exactly. You can't be running out of here in the fourth quarter because you're down by two touchdowns. Yep. So there's, right. there's, your, there's your final numbers, and uh, this replay will be up live on YouTube. Oh, and as, as Bill said, well, we got to 100 subscribers, so we're good. We but, did. But it's a good thing to promote. We, the more YouTube subscribers we have, the uh, that always helps us out. Um, see the stats up here. The full replay will be up there. The uh, highlights will be up there. And you can watch that over and over and over again with your at kids your and leisure, grandkids. At your leisure, I like to say, leisure, Rod. You can right. watch these games at your leisure at statstream.biz. Once again, what we're talking about here is our YouTube subscribers. If you haven't heard, we're looking for as many as we can get. Spread the word. All you got to do is go to YouTube. It's search free. Search statstream.biz. Or actually, just, just search, search statstream. statstream. Yeah, yeah, all one it's word, free. statstream. You push on the subscribe button, and that allows us to broadcast. Look at this young man that came in the booth well, here with his pink Viking shirt. He stayed to the end. <laughs> Ride dog Russatella. Way to stay to the end. We're just talking about you. All right, so your final <laughs> once again here at Leonard Stadium. Broad Run Spartans 28, your Valley Vikings 14, for Rod Ogren, my statistician, cameraman, stat man, <laughs> color commentator. My name is Bill Russatella. You guys have a wonderful weekend. And, again, at your leisure, go to statstream.biz, and you can watch this game all weekend long. You can. For eternity. Over and over. For eternity. For eternity. Right. You can watch this game. All right. Good Thank, night, you, thank you for watching. Good night. <laughs>